to the captain's quarter. quarter, quarter, quarter. All right. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Welcome, everyone. Here we are talking with the boys. I'm going to close the vent. And we're closing the vent. I'll close the vent. Close the vent. That's close right. Close the vent. My pants cut your head when your vent's open her. and you got to close it. Oh, it's very cute. What What is the pattern that is on your I think pants? I you actually bought those same exact shorts. Yeah, I think I got them at like Kohl's or something. I got them at Target. I mean, Kohl's is No, it was Target. My girlfriend bought them for me. That's right. Yeah, that was Target. I have the same shorts. Hell yeah. But yours are probably smaller than mine. 44s? Oh, shit. What up? Thick boys. (laughs) (laughs) Those are some thick boys. Hell yeah. We think it out here. But uh, it's Captain uh, joined. Oh, God. Uh, By... See, Cattle it's hard. Pleasure. See? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Cattle Pleasure or Kaylin? Oh! So, there you go. Uh, coding, coding, or Hunter? <laughs> yeah, there's the dab. Uh, TF Ocelot or David? Whoop. And Crash Carl himself or Ryan? AKA Cock Carl. Yeah, Cock Carl. <laughs> Cut Carl, whatever you want to call me. Cut Carl. <laughs> Stage name. You need to change your stream name to Cut Carl. Absolutely. <laughs> Thirsty Goat. Thirsty goat. <laughs> I'd like that. Like actively, whenever like the simps come in to hit on your girlfriend when you're streaming, just actively feed them. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> you can have them. Do you guys want her number? Yeah, thing. yeah, just be like, hey, dude, as long as I could watch, like, she's she, she's fair game. <laughs> How do people get sexual gratification from watching their significant other get pounded? Uh, I mean, do we want to actually get into the psychological part of it? That's not trying, a not trying to kick I will shame, admit that is a loaded question. However, <laughs> I think the point of it is still valid. Well, it's so uh, actually they it's a say power that, play situation. Yes, and males. Um, they say that males react to the reaction of the female during sex so like if she seems like she's enjoying it you enjoy it more so if she seems like she's enjoying some other dude plowing her you're like wow i'm pretty into that and if you've done it then you have the power move then you have that gratification and yeah it's it's a complex psychological hole (laughs) david you you happen to know a lot about this yeah you know i I love getting cucked on the weekends (laughs) oh wow (laughs) my invisible girlfriend she gets fucked in front of me all the time hell yeah (laughs) super cool (laughs) I like it when my waifu sleeps with other men. Oh, yeah. yeah. You watch you the anime and the hero gets the girl you're interested in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more satisfying. Oh, okay. wow. That's that's a lot. That's a lot to hear. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Kaylin, what did you do this week? What did I do this week? Uh, well, I'm taking care of some dogs for a co-worker. They might- do you want to show the dog? Are there- they'll, be a, they'll be around. You okay. should also just uh, mention that this, this is the first time we've really seen your apartment here. I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it's, I could have cleaned a little bit more. I mean, you can see a trash can on my counter. <laughs> is that a trash can? It's the owl one, yeah. Oh. It's, it's adorable. It's the owl one. Is oh, that a oh, 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you should go get that. Wow, he's wearing jeans too. I can't tell you the last time I wore jeans. By these dogs as he gets up. <laughs> Start oh, his legs. Dog. <laughs> oh, oh, that is, that's oh. actually kind of yeah. That looks like an Angry Birds character. That looks like the Duolingo owl. I think that that is the Duolingo owl. <laughs> yeah, Duolingo owl. Caleb. He's just like watching you in your kitchen um, while you. <laughs> no, just you ain't yeah. speaking Spanish, bitch. <laughs> uh, I do not know if it has any. Uh, uh, anything to do with Duolingo? I bought it because it was cute, and I needed a trash can, a small one for like next to my desk. And I put it up there just because these dogs. I, uh, I I don't know if they're gonna go to it. I think there's chocolate or something in there. Just keep chocolate in your trash can. <laughs> right. I mean, that'll kill them. That'll kill them. Um. So yeah. Anyways, well, that's exciting. That's, that's my my dirty apartment right now. How's the essential worker life? Uh, oh, I mean, it, it, it's it's getting annoying. I have a lot of projects to do uh, this week and then a whole bunch of annoying stuff. Uh, but it, it's fun, uh, like operating the furnaces and all that. We uh, 
kind of did our own like pseudo cast today, which was kind of nice. And oh yeah, uh, yeah, I, I've been learning a lot about our process actually because everyone's gone. You can because uh, like with union plants, you always get like poo-pooed if you pick up a wrench or anything like that if you press any buttons. But now that everyone's gone, you can do whatever the fuck you want, and then. I mean, if if you screw it up, you just kind of leave, and then someone else will figure it out. <laughs> Wait, um, what do you mean you, everyone's gone? It's like, uh, so we're in a two week shutdown right now. Uh, Wait, did that just start? No, no, we're we're coming back up on the twenty fifth. And uh, why? Why are you on a two week shutdown, Brian? <laughs> uh, COVID, my dude. Yeah, so I understand that, but I didn't mean, we talk about this? I thought was this after that guy died. Oh, yeah, it was after the guy died. But we're like a week into it, 10 days or so. Oh, so that's um, why you've been showing all the videos of you opening furnaces and shit. Yeah. Okay. Disposing of bodies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Taking yeah. pisses uh, in I've the I've been heaters. having a lot of fun with the furnaces. Uh, <laughs> wow. And all the videos I've shown you is all on standby. So it's not actually the furnace is actually melting. They're just maintaining heat. So that's only like uh, a quarter of the of the melting power. So yeah. if all if all the union guys are gone, are you guys doing anything, or are you guys just making sure the building doesn't burn down? Uh, the second, but we're doing a bad job of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you showed us a picture, or you should you Snapchatted me a video of a natural gas line on fire on the outside of the line. Yeah, what? so that's a- our uh, pilot <laughs> error gas line. Uh, I was just walking by, and I just saw that a hose was on fire. I felt <laughs> that's not right, is it? it? I mean, it's quite literally a natural gas line on fire. Honestly, uh, the it, kind of work where you have to ask yourself, "Should this be burning?" is pretty. Awful. <laughs> uh, so, ah. anyways, it, it's it was a natural gas line to a pilot burner, and to give you context, this is like a. 23 million BTU per hour uh, burner. So this is the pilot to that. Just to, you know, I mean, you're familiar with pilot lights. You just need to make right, sure you have right. a source of ignition. So this pilot light's about uh, 100,000 BTUs. And the average, like, a good size, a, a real man's man uh, barbecue is, like, around 35,000 BTUs per hour. So this is three, three to four times bigger than a like a real sizable uh right. grill and it's just the pilot light wow and so that was the hose that was on fire <laughs> that's good yeah that's so you, you have so such good. a you have the manliest job of anyone i know honestly like i don't think so i, I think it's just fun i think so <laughs> yeah so caitlin gets off on the danger oh yeah let me show you that i already oh. think i already showed hunter but the gloves that we have to wear yeah go get the gloves i'm gonna get another beer He's getting uh, he's getting the trophy of his victims that he puts Wait. in the, the aluminum furnace. I now have as my oven mitts. Why are you nice. with Thanos gloves? Jesus Christ, the size of those! So, <laughs> those I mean, are, it's, that glove is the size of your head. Your fist is the size of your head. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so looks, they, it, they look like they legitimately look like Thanos's glove. Yeah, it looks like you put on like balls. marshmallows for hands. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it looks like Hulk cans. <laughs> if you remember from like the early 2000s, the Hulk cans that you could watch. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yes, yeah. There's the giant fists that Dude, would be able to make noises. Those. Those. <laughs> that would be yeah, nice. Fun. You can't drop a cob on your desk and then not be able to find Hulk cans, bro. <laughs> what, if, like, yeah, what if like someone broke into your house and like the only thing you had next to you was your Hulk cans? Did you go after the robber with the whole can? No, because it's like boxing gloves. The whole point of boxing gloves yeah, is to like, dampen the kind of scary, though, right? Like, imagine you're breaking the door. <laughs> he just had these big fists. <laughs> and don't, right, if you I, smash them together, right, they, they say Hulk smash if you smash them together. So you just. Yeah, just, just all right, hey, this guy's sleeping. We're going to be able to take the TV and also hear, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> wouldn't there be better implements than extremely padded gloves? Well, so the thing about with. boxing gloves and stuff like that is you don't like you can't like beat somebody to death with them easily, but you actually knock people out quicker with padded gloves because you can you can I punch them more. Well, boxing, boxing gloves yeah, will you cut you too. Without, without, without your without hands. The of oh. 
Oh, yeah. okay. So you don't like as as the attacker, as the offensive man, is you can you can go a little bit harder without hurting yourself. And right. Then it's the time. same theory yeah. as to like why rugby players hit each other with no pads. But so the, the difference in the NFL and rugby is is American football super fast because they have the pads, so they have no problem throwing themselves at each other. Versus rugby, where they still beat the shit out of each other, but you you won't see a guy full sprint sprinting into another dude and like taking him out and destroying. Oh, him by so body. that's interesting. Yeah. So the safer you try to make it, the more dangerous it becomes. Yep. That's yeah, yeah. There's, much there's more concussions in American football than rugby because of that. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would believe that. I mean, it's kind Great. of the same thing with my job. The more. Uh, protective equipment you have, the more comfortable you are around molten metal. And then if you yep. make one slip, then no amount, of P- no amount of PPE is going to protect you from like uh, – Liquid hot uh, metal? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. someone drops something in a trough and they just instinctually grab, try to grab it and then just fill their glove <laughs> with molten metal and it's just, well – Oh, I'm to go to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Holy hell! Do you have to deal with that a lot? Do people just fucking hurt themselves all the time? I mean, they, there's burns, but a lot of them are just self-treatable. A lot of stupid stuff. I, mean, I would imagine a lot plant, of stupid stuff. With a union plant, you kind of have to report everything. Some guy cut his cut himself with a razor, and it was just like a like a um, like, like a, a surface paper, paper cut. cut. It was like a paper right. cut. And just because he wanted to like wash it out and put a band aid on it, we had to report it. So hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Well, podcast is over. I can't. I can't mute myself. Well, unfortunate. Hey, just, yeah. To restart. Yeah. All right. You definitely uh-huh. can't cut that out at all. For sure. No, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> all right, David. Yes. How's your week? Uh, it's been good. Uh, government's been paying me money to stay at home for the oh, most yeah. part. Oh, yeah. and, you know, it's just Thanks, been great. And I've been using that money to build a VR drone with a 360 degree camera on it. Wow. So Yes, we've been wow. having some fun. I'm still well, waiting on out of all of us. Like a like one of the main pieces of the drone. Amazon's just being a bunch of dicks and like not sending it to me. But wow. uh, yeah, so. <laughs> It's been rough. You're trying you know, to tell me life. my goddamn drone pieces ain't essential? <laughs> Come on, yeah. But yeah, so basically I've just been trying to learn how to build a drone and I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi and things to control it. So I've been trying to learn that stuff. And so it'd be kind of fun. Nice. We'll, if I'm still on next week, we'll get an update. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> just furthering my theory that if I surround myself with people infinitely smarter than I am, I look smart by extension. Like, wow, how cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, my landlord slash roommate slash friend is trying to refinance his house. So we've just been fixing a random bunch of random bullshit around the house. Replaced the full window uh, last night, which was pretty, pretty all right. That doesn't and, seem like uh, that time work. Paint, <laughs> we're going to paint like a 30 foot house, like a, it's 3,500 square feet of exterior um, that we're going to paint within the next week so, yeah it's gonna be we'll see we'll see how it turns out but it'll be interesting um other than that i ordered a green screen it was supposed to come in before today but uh ups decided um that there was an emergency like weather like it's delayed because of weather or a catastrophic event and so there they, is a tropical storm hitting the east coast to be fair but it was supposed I think to, yeah <laughs> yeah it was in it was in which is about half an hour south of where i live um like Dock on Thursday, crazy. yeah, easy DOS now. <laughs> uh, but on on Thursday, so like the fact that it hasn't, it's supposed to be up for delivery today, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I'm kind of upset. I'm having trouble with shipping. <laughs> all my, all my dreams. Infuriating things I can think of mm-hmm. are when you get like when you buy something with standard shipping, oh, and it's yeah. like an house 15 minutes from your house. Yeah, but you can't just go pick it up. And now, even if you want to, if you, even if you could normally pick it up, they're like, "Well, with coronavirus, we you know we can't subject our employees to customer pickups." And I'm like, "Leave it outside on the curb. I'll drive by in 15 minutes and pick it up." Like nobody has to be there. Yeah, right. nobody has to get there. Yeah, leave the package outside. I'll leave the whole <laughs> cans at home. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me bring my fucking Hulk hands. <laughs> I will punch I'll burn them. I'll burn them. 
I kind of want to see that on the news one day. Just some guy shows up with like Hulk hands to a bank. <laughs> Just give me all your money. Yeah, man, <laughs> Salt's Amazon employee. The one that makes hands. a sound when you hit them together. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he just walks in, throws another pair on the ground, and he's like, put them on. <laughs> yeah, and then he pulls out the softer bottoms. <laughs> Sucks like a bopper. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah, he's got moon shoes on too. He's just chilling oh, all, all those early two thousand. You brought your heelys, you know. Yeah, those were great memes. <laughs> Sock and bopper, moon shoes, moon shoes with Hulk hands. That that basically could be. Yeah. You just win. At that's that like a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, that's, Goku has nothing on that. <laughs> Leave Jiren to me. <laughs> Jesus. Even one punch man stayed home on that day. Oh. So goofy. Mm. So outside of the drone and doing painting the house, just been chilling. For the most part, yeah, just chilling, which has been nice. I mean, it's, it's been nice to get paid to do nothing for the most part. Like, you just have to kind of sign, sign in and tell them you did shit for the unemployment, and then they hand you $600 plus the state stuff, and you're yeah. like, thanks, yeah. okay. Yeah, are, you able, are you able to sustain yourself off of that? Yeah. I mean, at like $600 a week, dude, that's like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of yeah, lifestyle that's... you live. Oh, yeah, no. Well, I mean, not, not that lavish, for sure. I mean, I, I'm living in, like, room under construction, as you can see. <laughs> but, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, room under construction and the $300 mic, like, there's mixed signals there. Well, no, I paid $100 for this mic. The guy didn't know oh. what was wrong with it, and I took it apart, and it, it soldered one wire onto one contact, and then I got a $400 mic for 100 bucks. Nice. So, yeah, nice. yeah, it pays to know. pays to know. <laughs> All right, Hunter, how's your week? Uh, you know, it was all right. Still working from home. They're uh, they're trying to like, you know, I, I have a meeting tomorrow actually about like returning to work, but I already. Uh, oh, oh. Well, they're they're kind of making. They had like a like a Skype Q and A the other day about returning to work. David Oh no. They had a uh, like a Skype Q and A about returning to work the other day and uh it was like a q a with like some upper management and they were asking like you know it was just everybody asking questions to upper management that's kind of like planning the whole coming back process and pra- right, pra- right. practically every other question was like why are we doing this why can't we keep working from home <laughs> so like i i mean they're, they're saying like they want to show solidarity with the manufacturing side that they're already kind of being forced back into uh the assembly plants and they want a, you know, corporate one family kind of idea, and uh, yeah, yeah. But they need to be in. They need to be at a physical location to do fucking manufacturing. Exactly. So that's right. that. That was the big cue of the Q and A. Was like, yeah, you're bringing people back to the assembly plants, but like that's they have to be back in the assembly plants, and like right. they're setting up right. all these like, you know, we have to stand in line outside and get our like temperature checked and like somebody like has to hand us a mask and stuff before we get into the building and like with all of that like all, all i could think was just like why are we taking these resources when we could like double up the resources on the assembly plant and like i'm sure they're also right. standing in lines and you can make those lines half as long if you just like take everything here and put it over there but you know i uh it's just a few. Like, we a few like, the people that work in manufacturing like if I if, if it's anywhere near the warehouse I used to work at, eighty percent of that workforce doesn't even believe in coronavirus. Yeah, yeah so whatever it, precautions yeah. you put out there, they're just gonna ignore them. Well, I like to think that they're smarter than that, but not only that, like their work is significantly less shoulder to shoulder work, from what I understand, and uh, yeah. they have a little lot more like open air opportunities than like cramped office space, and I mean. From where I'm going to be in my cube, I'm going to be three feet away from four different people. So it it doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. So, I mean, I I already like I'm not going back because I emailed my manager and said I had a health concern that I wasn't going to come back. And I, and I mean, they kind of they, what is that? What am I hearing? Oh, it's me. I'm sorry. I don't, my roommates are being dumb. I think. I don't know, actually. I should probably just put it on push to talk, but... We can cut, it. We can cut it! Cut it! Cut it in post! <laughs> that price is way too high. You need to cut it! <laughs> but yeah, I, I already emailed my manager and said, you know, I'm, I've got some concerns and I'm not coming back. And uh, 
He's, they, they told us in the Q&A that like anybody could self-declare that they have some kind of a health concern or they need to take care of their kids because like nothing's open in Texas yet. Like, I mean, no summer camps, no child care. Well, Texas kind of open, but Austin hasn't opened at all. Like we have an extended stay at home until June 15th. So, I mean, and they're saying that like that even might be extended. We're like Pete. We're at the peak in Austin. Like. We're still like right. we're, the curve we're is not flat. The curve is not flattened. We are up here. We are not down here, right. and we are not down here. We are up here. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense. So I, and uh, yeah, I, I I'm kind of refusing to go back. So I, I emailed my manager and said I have a health concern and I'm not going back. I'm, I plan on working from home until I get my Bill Gates vaccine. I get the mark of the beast, and then I can go back. Never go back. Um, Why would you, dude? I fucking right. I love working from home, man. I like it's just so much better, dude. I, I love waking up at nine instead of six. I love working out in my driveway during my lunch break. I, <laughs> I fucking I love all of it, dude. I fucking like the idea of wearing a button up to go sit in a cube just to stare at my computer all day when I could like wear gym shorts and stare at my computer all day. Like it's just. I haven't yeah. I, like oh. people fail to realize how much commuting can like fuck with you as well. Dude, and that's oh, the true. thing too, is like I live five minutes away from my office and I still that's don't funny. like going to work. But, right. And like when I talk to Anthony's dad has like an hour and a half long commute and he's working from home right now. And that is like life changing. He has right. three, yeah, yeah. he has three more hours to his day that he can do what he wants to do. <laughs> well, maybe that's what he wanted. He wanted to have that three hours to himself. Yeah. He wanted those three hours away from Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he had to keep but, context in mind. Dude, I fucking... Yeah. Oh, I, I, I seriously think my next job is going to be fully remote after this because I, I just love this so much. And uh, You got to talk to Jayhawk, bro. Dude, but don't I, you get... Don't you, like, lack social interaction? I feel, like that's no. Or, no. Like, I feel like that's a hoax that, like, boomers <laughs> say. Like, right. Personally, I'm literally I'm talking to you. I'm just playing video games instead of getting social skills. And it's like, what do you think? We're, it's not like I'm just staring at no. Tetris for nine hours a day. <laughs> I like. hate the social interaction in my office. I hate office talk. <laughs> I hate it more than anything in the world. I ha- yes. I hate having to sit at my cube and listen to people's bullshit conversations about nonsense. Oh that's like two cubes away. I fu- it just makes my brain yeah. melt. And the fact that I can just sit in my fucking office and drink like a fucking gallon of coffee, get real souped up, and just fucking like code into the oblivion. I mean, that's that's just what I want to do. So I mean, I don't is that know. a salt Cheers, my mom. Got a mango margarita made. Cheers, wow. my mom. Ooh, wow. Cheers, wow. my mom. <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, I have have a question. I'm going to just run over you there, Tommy. That was a lot of people. Question. Is there like a. First of all, is it just like all bullshit uh, office conversation or is it. uh, Do you actually have uh, fruitful conversations with people? Or is it all just like. I I mean, I've. I've found like a couple of people at work that I enjoy hanging out with and like we'll hang out on the weekends. We'll go get drunk and play putt putt and stuff. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, that's the side that I enjoy, but the side that's just right. like acquaintances that are like six years older than me, that like they're only talking to me because they kind of feel obligated to talk to me. And then like, we, just, so we have this nonsense conversation about like some kind of neutral topic. That's like, you know, okay to talk about in the environment that we're in. And like, it's just gross, and I hate it. I hate it. So. Absolutely. The, the one thing I don't miss, the, the one thing I miss most about – sorry. I didn't mind the physical labor of my work. I didn't mind having to, like, say can do shit on my own. I hated the bullshit drama from people that, like – there's, like, a handful of people I cared about. The rest of them, if I didn't see them tomorrow, I honestly wouldn't care. But That's like, like most jobs, yeah. Just hearing just the drama – and it's just it does it doesn't need to exist, especially in warehouses, dude. It's literally you feel like you're in a gross like middle school soap opera with the drama you hear. Yeah. It's like, oh, Roy, Roy, Roy took my lift after lunch for five minutes, and then he parked it like five five inches beside the line. I'm gonna Die. fight that motherfucker in the parking lot. <laughs> 
legitimately people have gotten like people somebody stabbed somebody over drugs at my old job like a, oh, wow. somebody just it's walked cool. up with a backpack full of drugs and somebody legitimately just stabbed them with like for it it's like what is going on here what, sounds, um, sounds like cool things yeah, when I worked at Target, uh, people would uh, fight over the cash registers. Like, number five is my register. You can't have number like, and, like most people didn't know that like the other person had like claimed that register, and they just like walk up and like, oh, the GSTL told me that I can go on number five, and they go on number five, and they're all like huggy dory, and they're like, and the guy comes back from break, and they're like, what are you doing on my register, boy? <laughs> it's like it's just so bad. So I didn't I really think it's it. Them. I, I thought like you can't. You can't. Choose you you actually like you can't choose them but the people like enforce it like socially that that is their register yeah. and so Absolutely. it's like these like petty fights over some bullshit like control of their life and so when they're at work they get a grasp for some semblance of like that's exactly control. what it is exactly yeah and that yeah, just goes people, to prove my people. point a little bit that like every single job has to have some kind of weird bullshit conflict just to make like life meaningful yeah and uh like I, I just don't want to be a part of it. And like, just the fact that like my commute now is literally like I am, I have two monitors here, like on VESA mounts, like attached to my desk. I take the HDMI port or cable out of one of them and I plug it into my work laptop. My commute is literally like I raise my standing desk. I unplug the uh, HDMI port for, or cord from my computer. And then I loop it back around the desk and then I plug it back into my desktop. And that's my new commute. And that is perfect. I, I, that is just amazing to me that I can just sit in the same chair wearing gym shorts and just go like, well, I'm done working today and then just turn my laptop off and then like hop on here. And then, like, can't wait for the, can't wait for the podcast five months from now where Hunter comes in and complains about having to switch the HDMI cord over then. Yeah. I've definitely already thought about like <laughs> buying a dock because I'm tired of doing it. So steal a dock from work. Have you, have you like masturbated while you're on the box yet? Uh, I will neither confirm nor deny that allegation <laughs> in, in case my workplace happens to find this podcast. Uh, oh my God. I plead the fifth. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I'll, I'll plead the fifth on that one. But um, okay. rest assured, my time is not entirely spent on work. Now, at least tell me you're, you're doing the, the capitalist thing of uh, pooping only on the clock, right? Like you've got yes. your, you've got your eating your, your eating hours in place, so you, you your your poops are always on the clock. One hundred important. That, like that doesn't change at all. I poop on company time. <laughs> yeah, but w- working from home, you don't get quite the the, the juiciness from it. Like um, it's- but that's entire. That's so wrong. You get a little more juiciness from it because like <laughs> when you're pooping on the clock at work, that's a it's a walk from your cube to the bathroom. Okay, and then you sit on the toilet, which like. There's two sets of toilets in my office. There's like the men and women, like kind of like multiple stall toilets. And then there's like the single, like, you know, the single toilets. identity, yeah, yeah the, the handicap, BS, cor- yeah. corporate compliant oh, toilets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I always use that bathroom and uh, I always take the single stall and I'll sit in there for 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes, getting it all out, scrolling through Reddit, looking at everything that I want to. And I'll walk back to my queue. Working from home? Working from home, dude? My toilet is right outside this door. So <laughs> my laptop, I'll take it from here. I'll unplug the HDMI cord, unplug the charger. I'll take it to the oh, bathroom. Yeah. I'll take it to the bathroom with me just to make sure that I, I don't go inactive. And I'll, oh, I'll, man. I'll, I'll sit on that motherfucker for 30 minutes. Uh-huh. So, you yeah, know, is your I, office like a single ply office or is it like uh... – <laughs> Dude. My office right, – The home is two ply always. There, there's a lot of uh, – there's good amenities in my office when it relates to toiletries. It's not full. That's good. It's not full blown tech office like Facebook. They're serving me pizza, but it's it's nice. Fair enough. Fair enough. You don't have sleeping pods. No, we don't have nap <laughs> pods. The at my work, the women's bathroom always floods into the men's, so it's just like <laughs> so piss. Ew. I. I, I, I Legitimately, the worst part about it, and you have to. I always I tie my pisses to whenever I'm. Why at, would you not just call someone about that? Because they're union. Yep. And then tear the fucking thing apart for two weeks. You don't see them ever in there. However, everything's destroyed, and then overnight <laughs> if they put it back together. Like 
they're great at putting things back together and it works for two days because everything's dried out and i guess what? Oh. it comes right back and it's same as it's always been and of course with everything going on right now we don't have really have capital money to spend it on uh spend money on so that's just what you need to figure out who's peeing so much in the bathrooms it's flooding the floors dude it's piss gate just these 500 pound <laughs> women that just like start investigating, investigating every single woman do you have 500 pound <laughs> women that work at your K- kaylin i will uh, breed some more. i understand midwestern girls but like you are in a warehouse you are in a factory that gets up to 400 degrees that doesn't exactly sound like a place as a hefty gentleman myself that I'd like to spend time at. Well, I mean, not everywhere you get hot. I mean, oh, that's fair. Do you take and, a shower before or after you go to work? Uh, before. And after. I, no, before. You don't no. shower when you get home. No, I don't take a shower. You don't. You don't get right. You don't get right around those furnaces. Wow. I mean, you do, but it's like. It's an intense heat. It's not a. He's getting defensive. Heat. Like, <laughs> what? You're getting defensive. Yeah, I would get. Uh, I would I get so it. ripe in that environment. I would get so stinky. Like I mean, my no. hair is like a little. Like you can see a little bit of a, of a thing there. I'm fucking. I'm sweating just sitting right here, dude. Absolutely. I'm never. I'm in a perpetual state of of sweating. Dude, it's gross. Jesus. Uh, I mean, I have to change after work every day. Because right. they do my but own. But, like, getting all that sweat and stuff on you, doesn't that make your bed sheets all gross when you go to bed? Yeah, I feel like you're covered in yeah, sweat, dude. Like, like, yeah. yeah, I worry about my sheets. <gasps> Gotta keep those sheets clean. Mm-hmm. We're not judging, mm-hmm. Caleb, but, I mean, that's a, that's a valid oh, thing. Sure. No, I don't take a shower after work. I change clothes. <laughs> and I'm, so, something, uh, something uh, else. I want to pivot a little bit here. Something else that right, I wanted to sure. talk about. We talked a little bit about this before the podcast started, but since we're talking about work, I wanted to talk about the most toxic – disgusting website on the internet and that is linkedin.com <laughs> linkedin.com is the most horrendous social media we use it is the cancer of the internet i don't understand why it still exists and it, it is something that like baffles my mind every single time i log in because I, I i i should preface this by saying i i i have a linkedin account it's the only social media i still possess and that is because it's got a utility it forms mm-hmm. – it's it's a catalog of my work environment. It's pretty much like a dynamic resume that builds when I fucking grow throughout my career. I have my resume on it. I can recruit. Or I can find different jobs on it. It has a utility that other social medias do not. But what it also has is the – like I know Instagram perpetuates like a life of like look at me, look how glamorous I am. But LinkedIn right. does that to an extreme that like – it, it makes it, it makes me visibly ill when I fucking log into link. Like it is the most disgusting form of narcissism that we possess to just log into LinkedIn, especially now during graduation season. Like I respect the fact that you graduate college, but it's not this earth shattering mo. Like it, it, it's it's not that big of a deal at like what people make it to be. Where people type out these seven paragraph long post on LinkedIn about all the struggles that they go through to graduate college. Like everybody else that graduated college, we just did it. Like, just like you got like a doctorate fucking or something. skipping through and not doing anything. Like it's, it's just gross, man. If you look on LinkedIn, if you look on the post, it, it Oh God, dude, it, it, I, I can, I can stand it for about 10 minutes before I have to get off LinkedIn. And it's disgusting. Do you actually like browse other people's profiles on LinkedIn? Like, no, I mean, like, <laughs> I get notifications on my phone that say, okay. like, oh, you, you appeared in a search for, you know, yada, yada, yada. Or, like, I get recruiters messaging me all the time because I'm, like, you know, a, a genius and, like, I'm an amazing person and stuff like that. Genius. Yeah. Playboy billionaire. Yeah, I'm a playboy. I've got six saunas in my garage, but that's irrelevant. But, <laughs> yeah, I get people, you know, I get notifications that people, like, look at my profile and stuff on LinkedIn. And then when I go check out and clear that notification, I'll you know I'll fucking scroll through LinkedIn just for a little bit, and every fucking time I do, I regret it. Every single fucking time, <laughs> and it's because there's always just some fucking like mind melting nonsense post about some asshole that thinks that they're like the only person in the world that's ever graduated college, or they're the only person in the world 
that's ever like <laughs> rised up from adversity and has like taken some business job at IBM or something. Like, it's just disgusting, dude. I fucking hate it. It's just self gratification, dude. And, and like, I know that that is in like every form on social media, but there's something about it like being attached to your job that just makes it so much fucking worse. That's just like, it's just gross, dude. Like, people can go on Instagram and talk like. Oh, I went to Costa Rica. Look at me. And then everybody else is supposed to be like, oh, man, like, I wish I was in Costa Rica. But then every other post on LinkedIn is just like, you know, I fucking I grew up homeless and like I fucking I had to raise dogs through college to uh, to make money. And like I, I had to do all these horrible things. And I finally got my communications degree. Look at me. And it's just like, cool. You know, like. I have four dads with two hands amongst them. Yeah. It's just a challenge. <laughs> I've had to work in a coal mine since I was 11 years old to afford my bachelor's degree. I sucked a dick every day. Fucking I, graduated, I graduated college. I'm actually a dog. Like, and another thing I want to rant about a little bit is I've talked right. about the, I've talked about this a little bit on this podcast is the JRDs. Do not. I repeat. Do not. <laughs> Go and look at any of their fucking YouTube videos because every single goddamn commercial you're going to have on YouTube is going to be like, it's all about their fucking jump rope now. Every single oh, fucking commercial on YouTube is wait, about wait, on, that on, piece on. of shit jump rope. But I'm so no, fucking tired of it. If you're listening to JRDs, fuck yourselves and fuck your jump rope. I'm not buying it. Hang on. Hang on. The last time we talked about the JRDs, you were all on board. You were all about it. What happened? Did I miss something? Oh, God, I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. <laughs> what happened? So you were you were a, a self-proclaimed JRD yourself. All right, I'm about the jump rope lifestyle. I love the jump rope. I've been I've been jump roping a lot in quarantine. It's a nice way to stay in shape. I'm jumping in my fucking driveway during my uh, lunch breaks. I'll do 100 calories on the jump rope, and then I'll do some kettlebell swings. I'll do some planks. I'll, I'm working out. Okay, I'm a JRD at heart. I want to believe that I'm a jump rope dude right here where it counts. But what the JRDs want from you is they want you to buy their fucking shit $100 jump rope that, like, I, I, I've talked about this jump rope before. Every review, yeah. I've, every review I've heard about this jump rope says it is a piece of shit and it should cost $30 at max. But every single commercial now, I, I, don't, I, I, I can't tell you the last JRD video I watched on YouTube. I literally can't because I, I, I had to stop after all these fucking commercials because they're just infuriating me to that point. I had to stop watching the JRDs. That was probably two weeks ago. And still, every commercial on YouTube is just like, it just pans in to like some really fit dude jumping rope. And he's like, you know what? Jump rope changed my life. And this jump rope, this cross rope right here is the jump rope for the JRDs. And it's just, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy your shit jump rope. I, 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 so you can on YouTube if you want to skip an ad that doesn't show up like the skip you know you can kick, click on the like question mark and say like this is an inappropriate ad I don't want to see this anymore I hit that shit every single time and they still show me this piece of shit jump rope ad every single YouTube video and I, I, I I'm so I'm so tired of it I did this I podcast is brought to you by Apple. by CrossFit yeah. JRDs. I like I like the fact that Hunter's being haunted by a YouTube channel, dude. It's not you're, just that. It's not the one, you did it yourself. It's it's. I, I like I I, I want to imagine Hunter's in bed. It's like two in the morning, and he just hears a grope like a like a jump rope hitting the concrete outside his window. Dude, it's not. It's, who's, Jared, it's, who's out there? Who's out there? <laughs> Someone trying to sell me something. <laughs> And then you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I was just a dream. And you wake up in the morning, there's a JRD business card, like, on your windowsill. You're like, no, no. You just see the slightly smoothed pavement from the jump rope hitting it. <laughs> you just see the outline fogged in the glass of your window of a jump rope. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I did this same thing with Postmates, where, like, Postmates got to a point. Do you guys – what is it? Is it King Dash? I don't know what that is. You don't know what Postmates Door, is? Postmates is like DoorDash, oh, Uber Eats. It's a food delivery service. It's a food delivery oh. service. But okay. they have commercials that are like $100 budgets that look like porn quality nonsense. 
and right. they're like they try to be funny in them, but they're not funny at all. And they just like it, it was the same thing where like I had a Postmates premium account, and then every single fucking commercial I watched on YouTube was fucking Postmates. It's it's King King Bash, <laughs> and he comes on and he says like I'm King Bash, and you can order anything on Postmates. And then somebody in the background says like I can order Friends, and then King Bash goes like no nah. and then he's like oh and then you're like and, and it's just that commercial every single commercial that i saw for postmates and it got to the point i'm not even kidding you it got to the point where i canceled my postmates premium account and i got an uber eats premium account it was re- it was reverse advertisement to the point where they just shoved postmates down my fucking throat to the point that i did not want to give them a dime long like any longer so what, what happened to ad blog why aren't you using no, adblock? Like, I have I have adblock <laughs> on my computer, but it's when I like it's when I like pull up a YouTube video. Yeah, I pull up a YouTube video on my phone to listen to like oh. in the shower, and I don't have adblock on my phone. So and it, you should get a pie hole. Oh uh, yeah, huh? it's a pie hole. It's uh, DNS wide, or what? What exactly? Network wide ad blocker essentially, where all your DNS traffic gets redirected to the pie hole and then it says whether or not uh like whitelist or blacklist these things uh so essentially what a dns is is that most yes. of the time you, you ask oh, you already know all that I, stuff I know, I know what a dns he, is he has a computer science yeah. degree <laughs> I, I also went to college <laughs> i don't know what a dns is I'm, I'm it's, a, I'm, 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 I don't know what a name service <laughs> it's, it's your it's a domain name server and it uh translates ip addresses to url names okay so essentially, yep. the pie hole just blocks the stuff that you don't want. It essentially, it says, "I don't know where this uh, this address goes." So yeah. you just never get the ad. I mean, is well, it? I'm assuming that's a Raspberry Pi build. I'm assuming that's what a pie yeah, hole yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. I have a Raspberry Pi sitting around here. I should do that with it. But like, it's it's gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> like, I, uh, God, dude, like. I, I wish I never ever watched a JRD video. I, w- I wish I, I never went down the jump roping. I, I like, fuck, dude. Like, it's gotten to a point where I'm honestly ready to buy YouTube Premium so I don't have to see fucking ads anymore. Wow. I like the idea that Hunter's relationship with these things with bad advertisement are like a really bad relationship. Where it's like, dude, I can't. I can't believe I picked up a girl from a dive bar, dude. Like, I'm never going to go there again. Like, yeah. I can't believe I picked up a jump rope from a dive bar. <laughs> I, I could have sworn the last time we had a podcast, you were all about yeah, episode three. Dude, listen, listen, listen to me. Promoting. You were all in, man. I'm <laughs> all about the JRD lifestyle. I'm all about skipping rope and doing gnarly tricks in my driveway. I'm all about it. It's a, gr- a great cardiovascular exercise to stay in shape. What I don't promote is the bullshit idea that every single person has to own a $100 jump rope to be a JRD, and that is, as a JRD, I should spend my entire life jamming that jump rope down other people's throats to the point that just it, it just completely makes the idea of being a JRD toxic. I, I'm not about it. So that's why I propose the idea of the RDJs, and that is a completely nonprofit jump roping community. <laughs> We're starting it. We're starting so it right I- here. Uh, okay. I understand the acronym is just a reverse, but is it? what does this new acronym stand for? Shouldn't it be DRJ? Yeah, DRJs. Okay. I was like, a Robert Downey Jr.'s? So yeah. like, we're, 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 we're the Robert Downey Jr.'s and we jump rope. And, we, right. and you don't have to pay $100 to do it. It sounds like you're just starting to you just trying to start a cult, but without the financial uh, means. I'll start. It's not a cult. It's not a cult. It's a movement. Yeah. I'll start a. I'll start a jump rope movement. I'll start a jump rope cult. I'm not afraid. I so, could absolutely. I could absolutely see Hunter leading like some weird ass like CrossFit cult. I could. Dude, absolutely I'm seriously. i I'm, I'm not even kidding you, dude. I've thought about. I have like a spin class style like stationary bike. I've thought about getting on Twitch and streaming like spin classes from like me and just like <laughs> like fake ass poor man's peloton like just but i don't know so right, it's we're, a going up hill. we're going up hill lower that mm-hmm. lower that tread Crank lower it. the tread everybody Sorry, up in your Gail saddles Lee. up in your saddles ladies 
So is a Peloton just a really overpriced stationary bike with a screen on it? So the whole Peloton cult is founded on the idea that like it's a stationary bike with an iPad stapled to it. But like at its core, it's like a community of it's like a worldwide spin class. And they get like the, the best spin instructors in the world to teach these remote classes that like they control all the controls on your bike. So like oh, they'll they'll say like you cool. know we're stepping it up ladies and then they'll crank it up and stuff like that and uh, oh, that's kind of so it's like a robot hive mind of just people on spin cycles huh yeah <laughs> yeah and I mean like dude I uh, I have a bunch that's... of their stock I bought a bunch of their stock and it's been fucking sore because that's like pretty crazy it's just this cold it's a good idea yeah I, it's well, that's, it's good for research too like that's a safe way to like test out new programming for that kind of stuff like that's right. crazy yeah. And they're fucking, uh, their whole, I think they just passed a million subscribers. And I think like it costs hundreds of dollars to subscribe every year. And Jesus. I mean, wow. like the, the bike itself is five grand. So, I mean, it's, oh, oh, shit. it's really, yes. it's expensive shit, dude. And, uh, Jesus yeah, Christ. but it's just for rich people that like, just don't care. Fair. Dude, yeah. but, uh, during, during the quarantine, especially like people have been buying them like fucking hotcakes because the gyms have been closed. And uh, oh, I only got yeah. free money. Yeah, dude. And I'm telling you, man, during quarantine, I think they just hit 50 bucks per share, which I think they IPO'd at, I don't know, 30, something like that. I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like if you just willy nilly drop five grand on, an, on, a, on, a, on an exercise bike, Kalen, you're probably not getting the Trump bucks for quarantine. Everybody got them, baby. I mean, it- I didn't well, sell I didn't it for hundred thousand dollars. Oh uh, yeah, I Wait, did. No, they they're they're voting to expand that till uh Right. The first yeah. round. Like I doubt anyone that could just easily drop five grand on an on the, one of those bikes. I mean I don't Sorry. know. <laughs> they are I deciding hope, that. Yeah, I think deciding. they voted on it. I hate how up in the air this like how like questionable ever all of this is. Yeah. Like yeah. you don't even yeah, know what's gonna happen. And just All right, I, I, I want to I want to rewind a little bit because we got a little off track there. Right. Ryan, you want to give a quick synopsis on what you did this week? <laughs> um, yeah, this is actually probably a good week for me to have a short week um, because I think my main talking point was probably the next ICPL. Um, but it was it's their best album, so I'm actually doing a short write up on it, and I will um, present that next week because uh, I feel like. I, I wouldn't really be doing it justice uh, if I, um, unless I really give it my all. Because I've listened to it twice now. And uh, all I'll say is it's, it's our best album so far. Okay. That's great. Okay. It's, really good. I, it's like really good. I, uh, even by like the I, I really love the ICP updates. So definitely put your heart in that. And we'll, we'll, yes, really, we'll really dive in next podcast. Yes, the great one. Yes, we'll, we'll really get into it. My girlfriend uh, has a sweatshirt with that logo on it. So, yes. That's good. Does your girlfriend enjoy it well? No, she she just she's from Florida, so she's just she's a jungle. <laughs> she's from Florida. She's from so Florida. Just, so they're born in the water, you know. It's <laughs> just the water, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah it's the fluoride. It's like uh, you know how like crazy the '90s were up in uh, what was it Seattle for uh, for rock for um, grunge rock. What was it where every single band was from in Washington or Oregon? I guess. I don't know. I don't, Nirvana, I'm not familiar uh, with that. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> right. But anyway. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm like in between spring and summer classes, so I'm not really doing anything, which is a great timing because I just moved into a new house, so I've been doing a lot of moving the past week, which just sucks. Um, that's, that's terrible, but I would say I'm pretty much done now. Pretty much got everything where I need to be and all the furniture's in. You can finally um, sleep in. Yes, yes. Uh, also, I reached affiliate on Twitch. That's pretty cool. Hey, nice. hey, yeah. hey, hey. How you doing? <laughs> so I, that's exciting. I got I, I got all my donation goals and my my uh, my fit goals set up. No, so I'm excited, excited to do my next stream. Yeah, right. Uh, you, you haven't given us any updates on the new house. I haven't seen pictures or anything. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, maybe maybe tomorrow I'll do, I'll do a fun little video. You should do my Twitch tour to your house, right? There you go. Yeah, yeah, Take one of those Trevor's backpacks and just kind of walk around your house with it. And spend thirteen hundred dollars on a backpack just to tour your house. Yeah, uh, and then uh, lastly, uh, I watched a, a movie this past week, which is the Social Network, 
Um, I've, uh, you guys know what that is, right? The, the Zucker Bird. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've purposely avoided that movie because I'm not a big fan of Zucker Bird, understandably. Um, right. And, but I was like bored uh, the other day, and so I was just like sitting down, and I was like, I was on Netflix. It's on Netflix now. And I put it on. I was like, how can I enjoy this? Uh, and I, I, I went into the movie, the way I enjoyed it was like going into the movie thinking that I was watching like a robot that was trying to be like a human. And that movie is so much more entertaining doing oh that. Oh my God. It's like, he, he acts like a robot in the movie. Fucking so Jesse Eisenberg, he, he does. Yeah. Uh, he does a great job. Absolutely. Like, for, like act, he's, he's playing a robot, not Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> and I'm telling you though, man, like, I'm sure Aslak can to attest to this too. Like, some programming dudes really are like just machines of people, and it's this is true. Yeah, like they, they just drink they just soil process and process log- logically everything. Dude, like, it's you can it's, see yeah. you can see it in their eyes where their eyes are just glazed over to the point that like they're trying to like resemble like human emotions on their face. They're all robots. Yeah, I, I, dude, I work with a few robots that like they're amazing at their jobs, but if you try to talk to them about anything, they're just. They'll, give, they'll stare at you like right here, like not at your eyes, like above your forehead a little bit. <laughs> and, and you're just like, okay. It's a robot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a, it's always a spectrum between robot and then the dude from Grandma's Boy, and that's like the full like you're somewhere in there. That's a great movie. Uh, it is a good is movie. A good movie. Uh, but yeah, that movie was pretty funny. If you go in there wanting to watch it that way, the Social Network. Like the whole thing, yeah, like the whole thing in the beginning when he's writing the code for that. Well, have you guys seen the movie? Yes. No. Yeah. yeah. You know the beginning part where they're they're doing the the fuckability list for the girls in their college. Yeah, and he's talking about how they're all cows and stuff. Hold on, I'm gonna get yeah, another beer. Yeah. One more beer. One more beer. Yeah, he clearly he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get like how what he's doing is wrong because he's a robot. He doesn't understand human emotions. Need to categorize hotness of women. With, I think it's less to do with the fact being a robot. It might possibly have to do with the fact that the higher intelligence. The higher IQ you typically have, the lower wisdom and charisma you typically have. It's kind of like <laughs> they're all fucking robots, dude. They're well, robots. it's it, it's it's like uh, they min maxed their character as a wizard, so they have a really high intellect, but everything else is really bad. No, they're fucking no. robots. Tommy's right. <laughs> it really makes sense to me. Like, Tommy, it, it Tommy just, is one hundred percent right. Are you saying Mark Zuckerberg isn't a robot? Seriously. No, he's no, a, no Tom, a, Tom, Tom, Tommy. Tommy interview with that guy, and, and you tell me he's not a robot. He's a Tom, totally Tom, Tom, wizard. Tommy <laughs> hit the nail on the head. When when Mark Zuckerberg was created and his attribute tree was assigned, the intelligence yes. took all the victory points or whatever. You got a twenty on intelligence, he has like an eight on everything else. Minimum. <laughs> you, 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 you look at a picture of him on the internet right now, you tell oh, that man. Yeah, but most of those pictures are his face is big. Yeah. It's clearly <laughs> the robot face is yeah. on top of it. Yeah. It's just what's seen on top of a robot face. It's not good, but yeah, he's a... Uh, I mean, just because he's not attractive doesn't do, make him not huge. Do you, do, you, do you think no, he... No, I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm look, look at that motherfucker's <laughs> face. Like, visualize the metal, the glowing eyes and stuff. He's a fucking robot. That's do, all. I'm do, do you think he had a play in making that film? He had to have. Did he I mean, the, uh, the Wiggle Boss uh, twins in that movie look like such pussies? When in reality, they're like Olympians that are billionaires now. They're Bitcoin billionaires. Oh, and that really? the dude, um, what was his like financial guy that he kind of fucked over? He's also uh, the guy Andrew Garfield played. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. His name was like. Um, it was something Brazilian, but he's also a billionaire now. Like he's a venture capitalist in Silicon Valley. Like all hmm. of these guys are billionaires that like he just makes look like fucking idiots throughout this whole film. Like I, I don't know. It really, it really felt like when I watched it. I watched it twice recently because I also saw it was on Netflix and like right. it was uh, bored. It, it it really does look like Mark Zuckerberg played a role into it just to make himself look like the like. It also got weird and start parts Zuckerberg propaganda for Yeah, I mean, but at the time that the movie came out, he hadn't made a seal for him yet. We all still thought that he was a pretty cool dude. Yeah. I don't know if no, anyone. I, ever know. Thought yeah, that I think he was cool. <laughs> no. I want to say cool. It's the same we way that Steve Jobs. Like, like, we don't like respect like cool what dude. now. We respect what Steve Jobs did mm-hmm. in the computer market. It you doesn't shouldn't. make them not a colossal asshole. Yeah, they're both huge assholes. Right. 
So is Bill Gates. You have to be to be in that kind of position, though. Like, you can't become the CEO of a company like that Dude, they're all without awesome. being a complete – they're all sociopaths. Linus Torvalds is an asshole. Bill Gates is an asshole. Fucking Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak's an asshole. Yeah. They're all assholes. You don't get to the position you get in and, like, there without – just being a complete sociopath and not caring about anything but what you're – that my ideas are better than everyone else's, so pay me money. I'm going to make it <laughs> myself. You know who does that? A, a robot. A fucking robot. <laughs> I don't, all he sees is he sees the numbers. That's all he's seeing, the numbers, not the human emotion aspect. It's not sort of like a communist bot. He's like a capitalist robot that just wants as much money as possible. He's just – well, it's what he's programmed to believe. He's like, i got to make all the money. got to be super successful, and he's not – He's not thinking about everything else. I like the idea that I don't know how you have that I sold all your private information to people. I was, you know, it made me a lot of money. Yeah. I like the idea that we're living in a really boring Dragon Ball Z and Mark Zuckerberg Mm -hmm. is like sell, but instead of sucking people's life force, he sucks their private information on the (laughs) internet. (laughs) And we're like fucking a form sell. Um, yeah, and just, just so we can get past it, uh, I've been just hanging out with the folks. Ooh, some Adela. I've been hanging out with the folks. Um, I've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds recently. It's been really good. Uh, been listening to a lot. That's like a 65-year-old woman show. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good show, that's so true. whatever. That's what like my grandma watches at home. It's a good. It's better than NCIS. Yeah, right? that, that was the other one. Is NCIS? <laughs> NCIS. I feel like every literally show like the is lowest better. Bar of TV <laughs> How much Navy crime is there? <laughs> <laughs> the most is the answer to that. Was it NCIS the show where they had the hacking sequence and there was two yeah, people the on two keyboard. separate yeah, keyboards? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, the, keyboard. the same name. <laughs> <first. laughs> <laughs> That rivals the Storage Wars explosion on gray cable television. <laughs> oh if you God. haven't seen the Storage Wars explosion, I it's a not. feed of human ingenuity. Oh, they turned like, it past that as like, real, too. Which is like, it's like some <laughs> shitty premiere stock explosion effect that they threw on cable television. Oh, my God. <laughs> so good. They're all so, here. It's going to blow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I will be starting. I'm, I'm driving back here in a few days, but I will be starting. I liked Kalen's name for it. We're going to call it Uncaging the Cage. And I'm going to start, which apparently Nicolas Cage was in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So I've got to start with Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and I'm going to watch every single movie that Nicolas Cage was in. Oh starting from all this. Yeah, background roles, and I'm going to give it an overall movie rating, and I'm going to give it an overall stereotypical Cage. Nicolas Cage rating. Well, oh, how, how many um, how many movies is Nick Cage in? Because he's been in uh, lot, as an actor, 140. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, so you got so it, you got you got some work to do. If Con Air doesn't get a 10 out of 10 on both those scales, I'm going to be real upset with you. I'll tell you right now. (laughs) I'm expecting to go – I'm I'm fully expecting to watch some of the worst movies humanity has to offer going Oh, my God. But I'm also fully – I mean, you're talking to somebody who's had Nicolas Cage as their profile picture on on, on his Xbox account for going on 12 years now. So I'm a fan, and I'm I'm going going hard. All right, all right. Isn't there something with Nicolas Cage coming out very soon or something like that in oh, recent yeah. history? You're there's right. something. Oh, recent. Well, he's going to be in the Tiger King movie, National Treasure yeah, Three. Yeah, that, National Treasure Three is happening. Yeah. No, that's not a joke. That's yeah. like really happening. <laughs> oh, wait, they actually making um, a Tiger King movie though. Like, that's. Uh... I can't wait for like eight Tiger King biopics to come out. Oh my out. god. David Spade or like just all these different actors trying yeah, their hand. I mean, absolutely. Did y'all see that? Uh, the dynamic. Michael Michael Jordan's documentary beat Tiger King as far as views go already. Oh, I didn't even know Michael oh, Jordan oh, had a doc. Yeah, 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 but that's because the the, there's no sports on, so everyone's just watching that yeah. to like. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've, I've heard it was really fucking good too. So I mean. My dad has a TiVo, and I've been meaning to watch it while I was here. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't. Maybe it's just because of the, the time we were born, but I really don't give a shit about Michael Jordan. Yeah, and, and that's. I, I think they, they talk about that a little too, how, like, LeBron James is the Michael Jordan of our time, and then, like, how uh, yeah. Kareem was, like, uh, the fucking Michael Jordan of the era before him, and, like. 
Right. The guy yeah. from Airplane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's where he's from. <laughs> that's where everyone knows him from. Right. Right? That, that weird exactly role right. where, he, uh, where he was in Airplane for like five minutes. Huh. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. I mean, I can't really talk. I'm impressed you knew that, Caleb. <laughs> I mean, that's I'm the sports guy. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, we're all yeah, sports, sports, sports guys here. Guy. We have our whole podcast here about sports. And we were thinking about having a little segment with sports with Kalen. Yeah, sports with Kalen. (laughs) Did you see that? um, Sports with Kalen because we need the alliteration. Because because there's no sports right now, uh, John Oliver, like uh, he, uh, what's he called, sponsored the, uh, it's some kind of like European marble racing because of... uh, Like oh, Joel's marble racing? Yeah, you know you know exactly what I'm oh, talking about. Oh my god, I love that. So yeah, that's, that's, that's like, like Caleb. Caleb does that. because there's no sports right now, and gambling is like at a complete zero in Las Vegas. Like people have been gambling on this fucking Swedish marble game, like out the oh ass. Oh my god, Dude, I didn't know they were gambling on that. Yeah, and, and it's got it's got to the point where it's like a significant watch here in the states and like oh man but they just announced that like they're running out of funds to like support the program and uh john oliver just sponsored it for like the next like 16 weeks oh wow <laughs> wow so, that's kind of insane yeah, that's so, so dumb so i had no idea that that was a big thing but i've been i, I mean i i loved yeah. it back way back when they were, they were uh, originally the marble uh marble olympics but they had to change their name because the Olympics were uh, were upset with them, yeah. So now well, they're the like, mar- oh, never mind. marble or race or something like that. I, I've fallen off and following since then, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love we have an analyst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's completely blown up, and it's funded throughout the next sixteen weeks. And uh, you know, maybe we should watch some and then come back and comment. Oh yeah. Comment on oh, yeah. our favorite marbles and you know who we think's really <laughs> going to win it all and stuff like that. <laughs> We should have a very smoky room, like make everyone's room very smoky. Everyone just and start smoking cigars. Cigars, <laughs> get to learn Vietnamese. Get some tickers in the background, you know. <laughs> I'm ready. Wait, I- the podcast is going to be a Vietnamese with we're only going to drink whiskey and we're only going to smoke cigars. And that's going to be our podcast. Dude, I'll, no, I'll, I'll gamble on some marbles. I'm not scared. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm game too. I'll watch them beforehand, but you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll cheer you on. I forgot what the capital team. fucks to be able to do that. <laughs> I think my team was O-Rangers, I think, but that, that's pretty controversial. I like, I like <laughs> the idea that Kalen had like a cardboard cutout of like the, the leader of the marble team that he has. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you can buy jerseys, you can buy everything for marbles. Oh, yeah, they're pretty God. big. It's a big YouTube channel. It really is. Yeah. Like, the guy does really good commentary too, actually. Yeah, they, they have like sportscasters doing commentary on the fucking oh, It's really well done. Yeah, it's it's whatever the production anyone questions, is huge. Whenever anyone questions like human ingenuity and like ways to survive in times of like uh, like crazy times, all you have to look at is there's no sports. All of humanity now watches marbles. Yeah, <laughs> marbles is your way of life. I think that's that's going to be the real bottleneck when it comes to like flattening the curve here in the next couple of months. It's the fucking sports. I think oh, no, uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be rough. it's a hundred percent the beaches. No, so I, don't, I don't think beaches have Island? anything to do with dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe where you're like, from. Like, if you look at the big house in Michigan, it's there's a hundred eight thousand seating capacity yeah, exactly. in the stadium. Oh in man, yeah, dude. you're right, you're right. That's I'm true. You, and stuff like that. It's good. Yeah, landlocked hey, states. That's it's, one stadium that's out of hundred and forty-four Division One schools in a hundred places. Hundred and forty-four Nicholas Cage films and hundred and forty-four. Uh, oh my god, this is the next 23. Yeah, no, no, you're lying. Fake stats. <laughs> There's, yeah, whatever. But like, but yeah, so. News. And I think going back to what Tommy said earlier, where like he worked in a warehouse with like predominantly the people that didn't believe in coronavirus. I think there's going to be like a significant number of those people that are also going to be like, yeah, fuck this. We're going, Absolutely. We're going to football. And like, yeah, right. Yeah. And then oh. and, and and every respirator in the country is just going to be taken. Yeah, well, here's the fun part about the football, especially, is you, you have the 80,000 people in the stands. Then you also have the 40, no, probably, sorry, probably closer to 100 to 200,000 people tailgating, mm-hmm. bars, yeah. restaurants, yep. the hosting neighborhood get togethers to watch the local sports team. Yeah. I, I think Athens, for every home game, becomes, I think, one of the, the top five largest cities in, 
the city of Georgia, or the state of Georgia during home games. You know, when Nebraska plays at home, it becomes the state's the stadium becomes the state's third largest city. I believe it. <laughs> and, and like, no. you know, I guess I'm just talking about everything I just saw on the new John Oliver today. But uh, yeah, he talked a lot about sports today. But um, yeah, I think that's when we're gonna see you know some crazy shit happen and see if. Because I'm kind of up in the air on both sides. Like, is it gotten to the point where, like, have all of us just had coronavirus, but, like, most of us just kind of, like, headed off? Or, like, has the social distancing shit been really, like, working? And, like, if we try to, like, open up shit right now, are we just going to, like, fall apart again? Like, I, I, I'm really up in the air about it, but, like... You know. If we're being honest, there was maybe, like, two to three weeks of actual social distancing in this country, and then it just kind of, like, fell through the cracks. That's all you can hope for. I mean, <laughs> if you one show at this, I think, I said yeah. before, right. you have one shot, and you only have, like, a month span, or I guess it's now proven to be two or three weeks, and you go for it, and that's all you have. Yeah. And yeah. You're out of gas right now. Dude, Everyone wants I'm telling you. <laughs> Every day on the Austin subreddit, there's this guy in the city of Austin that posts like this whole like chart graph system that he came up with to like analyze the COVID outbreak in Austin. And I mean, like we are like literally smack dab right on top of the peak right now. And it, it's just so stupid to see what's going on right now. Because I just got a text message from one of my buds out here that says like we should go to a bar on Friday because apparently they're opening up bars to 25% capacity on Friday. It's, oh my god! It's just like <laughs> I mean, I, I really I get it. Dude, I, I get it. I get that everybody's just bored out of their fucking gourd and they just want something to do. But just <laughs> right. like I mean, like literally, this graph. I'm telling you, we're we're not here. We are not here. We are here, yep. and we should not be doing anything when we are right here. <laughs> like that's so yeah. stupid. The graph for my state literally yeah, has gone up, good. and it's just kind of stayed flat. Like, it's literally just right. been, like, like a rectified wave of just, like, you know, like, back up and down. And it's, like, and everyone, no one's wearing masks now. I went outside uh, on the weekend, and literally, like, only 10% of people were wearing masks out in public. They just didn't care. I, you supposed, uh, uh, my company sent me some. The masks, actually, uh, that's something that I take a huge gripe with, because the, wearing a cloth mask is, the like, the epitome of, like, Ducking cover when a nuclear bomb goes off. Yeah. Like it, it's yeah. not doing anything. You yeah. just feel like you're doing something. So, like, if you're wearing a cloth mask and you touch it, or you touch something near you, or you breathe on your steering wheel and then you touch that with your hands, like, you now have coronavirus on your hands if you have it and you're going to put it on things. And so, it's like, <laughs> it doesn't help anyone to have the cloth mask on, but everyone feels like they're invincible and they go out to stop and shop or whatever. It's really and it's like, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's it, it doesn't it. It's it's kind of ridiculous to think about. So like, not wearing a mask, like it, you could spit farther without a mask on. But like, that's it. That's the only difference, really. You yeah. still you're still contaminating things. It's it's you're still just like a walking, fucking viral like just clump. But like, I don't know. It makes me angry that they even like the CDC of all people were just like, yeah, just use a cloth mask and it's fine. It's like no, 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 no. So like, I don't know. No, I, 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 I do not feel safe yeah. right now. <laughs> also your beard probably like that's another yeah, thing no, no I, 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 it wouldn't work. I just don't go outside anyways but if I did like yeah I just like, flip my beard out and just like just walk Use around a filter. Like <laughs> nah dude we, we uh I, I seriously like we go on walks in our neighborhood but like I haven't left my neighborhood in 62 days I think mm. like we get groceries yeah. delivered and we just fucking yeah we're not doing shit so i mean i get it i get that everybody's bored i'm fucking bored i want to go out like it's literally like this is the best weather that we have like these next couple months it is going to be 115 degrees and you're going to want to shoot yourself in the face if you go outside like it (laughs) it is not fun but like if that means that less people fucking you know get sick die choke on their own lung fluids you know like this is what we're supposed to do. Yeah, <laughs> right. I yeah. literally, I ran my first half marathon in February, and I signed up for six races this year, and six of them <laughs> got canceled. This was going to oh, be man. my year where I was going to be like, <laughs> Usain Bolt, and just fucking do it. But every race I signed up for this year got canceled. So it's just like, you know, why even run anymore? <laughs> why even? So just keep jumper open. Do you want to pull up that, uh, do you want to pull up that document? Pull up the document? 
Yeah, yeah you know, with the, the not on line. here, but just on your end. So, and, and what? What do you want me to do? This doctor? Doctor, so I tell my parents move across the country, and then I have to fly back. So I'm. Did they finish the construction? Uh, they got delayed a little bit. Uh, Wait, but okay, your folks are still, moving. Yeah, they're moving across the country. I won't say exactly. Yeah, that's why they sold me their car. Are they, yeah. are they staying <laughs> in the country? Yeah, yeah, very barely. Barely. Okay. Yeah. So barely. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. Texas, so American Samoa. Oh, yeah, they're moving. Oh, wow. <laughs> so are they going to vote for uh, Bloomberg? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so I have to help them drive. So that's good. like we're stopping in like four different spots across the country, and of course all the stuff in between. Right. And then oh, I yeah, you're traveling with dogs. Yeah, and I have to fly back. So that's going to be interesting where we're going to be at a month. My first flight already got canceled, so I had to rebook it on another one. Which uh, it's a Seattle to. You just doxed them. Oh. They're dead. They're dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Seattle to Chicago. <laughs> which the, instant, uh, the instant regret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I said more. I said. Uh, How many people are in Seattle? Like uh, six million? <laughs> like, right. It's a, yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was the Chicago part. But. Oh. Uh, well, you, uh, anyway. It's only the first leg. You don't have to worry about it. There's more people in Chicago. so Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I, I would move to Chicago or Seattle. Yeah, I'd do Seattle. Uh, I don't know about Chicago, though. Chicago was insane when I went uh, in February. God, that's so weird. That was felt so long ago. Doesn't that feel like felt a lifetime, lifetime ago? A lifetime. It does. February, it yeah. just feels like the before times, before. That, that's true, Before actually. the fire yeah. attack. I had a big, I had a big <laughs> birthday party. For a lot yeah. of people. Yeah, there. Ryan did have the huge birthday party. Yeah. 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 Gonna do that now. Yeah, Chicago is no. insane. We saw a guy die on the subway. Really? And then, and, yeah, <laughs> uh, he, he OD'd. That was awesome, dude. He OD'd. They, long story short, I mean, there is a whole lot more detail. A uh, guy was ODing, and then someone was like slapping him still. He just like literally winding up and just full full slap. He wouldn't wake up. Uh, Jesus. We had I a slap call. you. We had to call the uh, operator, and he's like, all right, I'll stop at the next stop, I guess. Stop at the <laughs> next place. They pulled him off. I don't know why. They, like, dragged him off, and someone was a nurse, and they had Naloxone, whatever it's called. Yeah, Narcon. yeah. Nar- Narcan. And just a whole syringe in the nose, and within five seconds, he was up. And I was absolutely amazed. Yeah, wow. that shit's I, crazy. I don't know what this was happening. Uh, we were sober. That was, like... 9 a.m., which is another weird thing. Huh. This guy ODing at 9 a.m. It's the best time to do it. Right. Yeah. I'm going to get one more beer. One more beer. Oh my one, God. Whatever, dude. Uh, but, yeah, that was insane. I mean, this guy was legitimately dead. He was not waking up. and then, Legitimately dead. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. That's so crazy. He, he woke up, and then same woman dragged him back on, and uh, – then he started and now that man is the president of the United States. <laughs> yeah. Started passing out again, but the woman was making sure, don't you dare close your eyes on me. And she was borderline abusive, but oh. whatever. I mean, was, <laughs> right. I just stubbed my fucking toe. Well. <laughs> Dude, that Narcan shit's crazy. It, like, it literally blocks your opioid receptors from like accepting anything. It just shuts them down or something like that. You feel like shit because it's like you're suddenly like sober. You're like instantly. Yeah. Like, oh, sh- I bet you feel <laughs> like, like aren't your those receptors like your dopamine receptors or something like that? Yeah. And if you just can't feel dopamine, that you feel awful. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I feel like also dying for a few seconds. Dying, <laughs> you're, gonna feel, you're gonna feel bad regardless. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of us could really understand how bad you would feel if you're. Constantly throwing your dopamine receptors into overdrive all the time, and then going to zero. Yeah, that would yeah, be pretty bad. But probably also probably make you reevaluate your life. Like, 
you, all of your oh, nerves do the tingly thing. thing. Like if you if your heart stops and you don't have any blood flow, and then suddenly it starts flowing again, you would feel like your entire body was a dead leg. Like it, it would be terrible. Oh, yeah, God. and then you're like, you have no dopamine to cancel that out either. So you're just like, eh. you're just like <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> you would just not be having a good time. Yeah, don't do heroin. Yeah. Yeah, don't yep. do drugs. Kids. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Don't do hard well, drugs. Only, <laughs> only smoke Berkshire CBD. Yeah, sure. only Why smoke not? Berkshire CBD. Can you like, cut the previous ad that Hunter did and just copy and paste that in right there? I mean, at some point, I'm gonna, we're going to be doing ad, like offline ad reads that I could just inter, inter, like put in randomly in the podcast. So like that won't really be a problem. I uh, I just got verification today that we are like a hundred percent verified through Berkshire. So we just have to send everything. Oh hell yeah! Oh wow! There's like we're three. Sponsored. There were three steps to verification, and we got the pass for three today. So, so one thing else that I wanted to say was after listening to the, um, after doing the Power Hour on Friday, I am yeah one hundred percent on the gravy train. I am on the Young Gravy train. And, like, <laughs> I have been listening to Young Gravy all weekend. And, like, today especially was just, like, I just plowed through his whole fucking Spotify repository. Like, I plowed him. I, I plowed Young Gravy. <laughs> Me and Young Gravy double team Mrs. Buttersworth. And Juicy J was there jerking off in the corner. That sounds like fun. But, yeah, dude, I'm on the Young Gravy train. I'm ready to fucking – I'm so down to go see Young Gravy in Nashville for my birthday. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a good time. That is, it's it, it's on my birthday. So if uh, if you know if they aren't putting bodies in in uh, refrigerated tractor trailers in New York in November, maybe we can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very that'd be cool. pretty fun. dude, that was so crazy. Remember, like, fucking the beginning of March, where they were like packing up semi trucks with dead bodies in New York. And like everybody was like, "Oh man, like are we really just all fucking dead?" Like, and now we're all. And then everyone forgot <laughs> and then about two weeks later. Two weeks later, weeks later I'm just, why can't I go to Fun Records? Like, <laughs> they actually, actually rid of Fun Records. That that something doesn't exist anymore. They're dead. Oh, the oh, restaurant. oh man, it's gone. Oh. Dude, and dude, that makes me so sad because I actually love that shit out of Fun Records. Oh, man. <laughs> you could literally. There was a thing where you could just put as much cheese on your burger as you wanted. Oh my god! Just liquid jalapeno cheese was so cool. And like, I, like, like before this all hit, I was like, "Great, let's go to Fun Burgers. Like, totally go for a fat ass burger and French fries, just covered in jalapeno cheddar." Bad fun and it was gone. No! And I was like, oh, so I'm like, they're all gone. They're dead. No more Fun Burgers. Wow, that's the yeah, yeah, so, place with the the games. No, 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 that, no, no, no. You're uh, thinking of Andretti's that had a fuck record, Fud Records inside of it. Uh, God damn it. Fuck. I love Fud Records. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fud Records are great. Fud Records. Wait, are they like completely bankrupt? Like all their locations are closed? I, I think they're all gone. I, I looked it up online immediately and I was like, no! Fuck! All right, hold on. Let's look up a list of businesses that have filed for bankruptcy because of COVID. This was before, I, before COVID, though. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't a result of COVID. I had a funny story about a David Buster's when I was at TwitchCon. I know that's not really the same, but I just remembered that we went for – there was the Dark Souls speedrunning community had a TwitchCon party at David Buster's in a private room. And, like, I was I'll kind of there. invited. And so I just randomly showed up, and I'm literally sitting here at David Buster's with, like, all the world record holders for all the Dark Souls games. And I'm like – you know, I played it once. Like, how's it going, everyone? And they tell you to get out? Wait, what? Did they tell you to get out? No, they were just like, ah, oh, you're cool. I ended up talking to a fitness dude for a little while that did Dark Souls and fitness videos on Twitch. <laughs> and um, they had this giant thing at, at David Buster's. You can get these giant beers. And somebody mistakenly ordered, like, four of them and never drank them. All right. And so everyone was getting ready to leave. And I'm sitting, they're sitting there like, well, what are we going to do with these beers? And they started handing them out to everyone. So I drank like two and a half of those because I was like, well, I mean, it's free beer. Like, I'm not going to turn it down. Boy. It was great. Great <laughs> night. Sounds fun. Sounds All right. Fun. JC Penny has been slain mm-hmm. by the COVID. Oh, thank God. Oh, I've just, been waiting for that, actually. <laughs> it looks like it. Um, what? 
True. No, that's not possible. My sister and her boyfriend are literally just at a JC Penny. No, yesterday. they filed for bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is different. Oh, yeah, different. Uh, CMX Cinemas. Um, they no one's gonna miss that. J Crew. J Crew filed for bankruptcy. Um, Okay. It's a for which white woman? It's, yeah. it's basically just a shop full of cardigans. Yeah, and it's where dudes buy. It's, it's where dudes it's, buy button up just, shirts to sit in their cube all day and stare at computers, and then they can like feel good about wearing the button up shirts. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Gold's Gym. Oh, oh really? Gold's, Gold's Gym. Cool. Gold's yeah. Gym is a is my gym, and uh, that sucks. After uh, my sauna comes in tomorrow, tomorrow, oh. I will cancel my Gold's Gym membership forever. Huh. Let, let me let that. me just say right here, Gold's Gym, the Gold's Gym I go to at least, is the most disgusting piece of shit gym I've ever been in inside my entire life. And I, oh, I, wow. I hope they go bankrupt, and I hope they fail as a company. I hope they fold entirely. Fuck Gold's Fantastic. Gym. <laughs> you were full of controversial ideas today. Yeah. Well, um, Neiman Marcus. Filed for bankruptcy. GameStop, I know GameStop's been. Well, I, mean, the I think I, I think GameStop GameStop closed a bunch of stores, but I don't think they filed for bankruptcy. How, how are they surviving this, dude? I don't know. They have lobbies. They, they have. They're they struggling hard. Yeah. When I um when I opened up my Robinhood account, you get a free stock for doing it, and I got a GameStop stock, and uh, it, it was like three dollars. And if you like go through the history, if you like, you can do a max of like five year stock history. Five years ago, their yeah. stock was worth like forty five bucks. Like it, it doesn't make sense that GameStop still exists. So yeah, no, it doesn't. I don't get it. And they they know it too. Like if you look at the changes they're trying to do, probably a and bunny how they are thing. when you walk into the store and they their sales pitch. Holy shit, man. GameStop right. fucking sucks. The smartest money laundering you could do is just get nerds to front your money laundering operation as a GameStop. GameStop sucks, Boom. and uh, they deserve to close. Just like uh, oh, yeah. Gold I agree. Where I live closed. Bring back Electronics Boutique. <laughs> Bring back Radio Shack. Right. Bring back Rhinos. Uh, dude, Earth, the hell's Rhinos? Earth Fair closed. The hell is Earth Fair? That is true. Oh, yeah, that like- Earth Fair is ripped. Is it that big like world market thing? They're, yeah, they sell a bunch of food. It's like, it's like a, a organic grocery store. Uh, whole, whole yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Huh. Dude, J.C. Penney filed for bankruptcy with over four billion dollars in debt. Oh my wow. god! <laughs> they, they've, been, they've been floundering for a while too. They they had not been doing well. Oh, uh, dude! Well, they haven't. Dude, dude took a huge hit. Fucking crystals filed for bankruptcy. No crystals. No, not <laughs> Uh, Neiman Crystals might be one of the worst dining experiences I've ever had in my life. Dude, they're chicken sandwiches, man. I don't want to hear yeah, it. Dude, fuck good. you, man. Crystals is great. <laughs> I like crystals. I think I like White Castle better, but I don't have that like here. Crystals? So. Like crystals? I, I swear to God, they, they cook their onions like a dirty sock in a fryer. That's how they cook their onions. <laughs> Probably. That's, you know, that's what makes it crystals, though. In turn, it's the same thing for Waffle House. You don't go to Waffle House because exactly. it's no, no, Waffle House actually, like... No, they I, no, do not. Don't here and say Waffle House is, is, is quality food. Like Waffle it's House not, imports their grits from better. heaven, all right? So you always get fucking sick. Every fucking time. Really? Really? Wow. Yeah, I keep going. Yeah, I keep going. <laughs> sick as in just like your tummy hurts or sick as in like violently ill? My tummy hurts. Yeah, like, so shut the I fuck up. That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's because it's the amount of grease that's on the grill when you're eating that shit. We we knew someone, Jay Z, in our group worked at Waho, and the fucking horror stories he told me about working in that kitchen, man, it's crazy. He only told me that the waffles are pretty much just cake batter. That's all I remember from. It's literally just cream. Oh my! No, I fucking love Waffle House, dude. We were on, but it's not. It's not. We were on first name basis with the Waffle House crew in high school, man. We, we would get <laughs> yeah. to Waffle House like fucking three times a week. I don't regret any of it. I don't. I don't regret any of it. I've actually met the Southeast District Manager of Waffle House before, and that's a weird story. I don't doubt it either. I bet you met him by working your way up. 
Because every time we go to Waffle House, you're always super well drunk, obviously, but always <laughs> so talkative. You make six different friends, and I'm there just trying to eat my damn waffles, and you're bringing everyone to the table. One of my favorite stories was leaving that New Year New Year's Eve party. Get that. That white kid, that white like boomer was yelling at that black kid, and I was black out drunk, and I just screamed at this like middle aged woman, shut up and leave this black kid alone. <laughs> and literally, all of his friends came over here and were like Snapchatting with me about like, yo, this guy knows what's up, this guy knows what's up, and I'm just sitting there black out drunk, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> this guy eats waffles. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I just want to eat like, and and just sitting there like, dude, we're just trying to eat our food. It's three in the morning. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, I remember we, at uh, your old apartment, we went to Waho, and the, we had, there was this pregnant waitress who walked up to us and s- asked me if uh, she could buy shrooms from me. Like, what did you think? That, <laughs> why, why did you I don't want them? That. And why do you want them? Like you're, you're pregnant. <laughs> trying to have that trippy baby. Yeah. yeah, but that's, that's the Waffle House experience. It's, it's what it makes it matter. Coming out of here, dude. dude That's why you go to Waffle House. Seriously, I like, all the cockroaches are just extra seasoning. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that make that make. I don't know. We had some crazy ass McDonald's experiences too. I yeah, agree. Too. Although, like, I, as much as I think we can keep talking, we probably should move on. Because we can go on for hours about stories. So is Elon Musk like? Did his brain just like explode? I think so, man. Because he's always been crazy, and he's always been really stupid. Well, he's talked. Yeah, he's talked a lot about having like a, like a little bit of an issue with Ambien in the past, and I feel mm-hmm. like the Ambien is definitely stepping up to a point. Yeah, that, I'm like, I'm gonna excuse that for like a day, or like if he's having like a really rough weekend and he's having like an Ambien trip all weekend. This has been going on for like a week now. Well, he's also, I think Grimes, I think is, is are they married or are they just dating? They're just dating. They have a kid. Yeah, so they, well, they just had yeah. the kid. They just had the, the yeah. ex, 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 Kyle. They just had Kyle. And, that's um, a meme. <laughs> I don't think that's real. Do you think you that's think his name? Cool. Oh. I don't think that's his name. I think that's just bullshit. I won't believe it unless I see a birth certificate. Yeah, I, 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 I won't enough. either. That's fair enough. Elon Musk, if you're listening, show us the proof. <laughs> yeah, all right. Show us the main Wait, wait like, should we call <laughs> Elon? Let's get Elon on the phone. All right. No, let's yeah. call up right now. <laughs> Hang on, I, I missed the name. What are you talking about? I know, I know about Grimes. I knew it was just their baby just is literally flashes. like it might as well be a jet fighter or a spaceship. Like, I, I, it's not something you can pronounce. It's like X A seventeen B. I think the, uh, like, it's just the end of the name. A <laughs> twelve literally references Elon Musk's favorite favorite plane, or something like that. Like that's a shout out. Oh, to, interesting. So I, I don't know what. It can't be real. <laughs> I, I don't think it's real. There's no way that's real. I mean, he's rich enough to do I've it. Like it's not. Like he can't do it. Fail is so hard. If, uh, if that is his name, I don't know. I, mean, like, I don't know. Are we just? Is that the new Mark Zuckerberg? Chris is that, Martin named his kid Apple. Is that, is that, like, is that this, the next? <laughs> it's probably, it's probably, it's a robot. probably a robot. Honestly, for being real, yeah. Yeah. it's definitely a robot. <laughs> it's just definitely <laughs> like they're sending them from their their robot. Uh, it's rich tech fuckers. <laughs> The artificial intelligence, and they bring the dude out to like the middle of nowhere. What? Uh, Ex Machina. I have no idea. Ex Machina. Yeah, this uh, is okay. gonna be like Ex Machina with Elon Musk, dude. Oh, yeah. no, spoil it. I, I want to watch that one. What? You've never seen that? How have you never seen that, dude? That you will. That is one of the greatest movies. Tell me. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if Elon Musk one of the also. Thriller movies I've ever seen. Oh. Anyways. What are you saying? What are you saying, David? I'll say, I wonder if Elon Musk uh, is like also feeling the effects of the corona. Like he's just staying home and getting real fucking high, and just like he's like bored out of his mind. He's just like blasting Dude. off, and he's just like, all right, Twitter yeah. time, and just like him, 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 him and Grimes are doing whippets, and they're fucking <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> That's the first time he's actually been home more than four hours. Right, he's just like can't go to space, so we might as well the next best thing. Dude, I, I, yeah, was, I was, just, was waiting. waiting space right I was now. waiting to get that fucking notification that he got arrested i was really waiting for it did he actually or no well he tw- short he, tesla. he tweeted yeah short tesla <laughs> he was tweeting that like he was going to open up the uh the factories even though um california told him not to and then he tweeted like we're opening up the factories and if anybody gets arrested come arrest me and uh i do i was just waiting for it man 
But his stock, his hilarious. stock price for Tesla is still eight hundred and twenty dollars. It doesn't make any sense. But you know, the man's memeing, dude. He's out there. Dude, none of it makes sense anymore. Stocks don't go down anymore. They just don't. It's all up. All up. That's all it is anymore. Stocks don't go down. Up. That's it. I don't know what happened, but the economy is broken. And Tesla is worth $820 a share, even though their CEO can get on Twitter and literally say, I'm breaking the law. Doesn't make sense. And they're but, still making the cars, dude. They're making money. You got to hand it to them. And honestly, <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest, they just announced that like they might move their factory out of California. And their their last two cities up for debate are Oklahoma City or uh, Tulsa and uh, Austin. And if they come to yeah. Austin, if they come to Austin, I'm slipping them a resume. I'm gonna do it. Why? I'm, Why I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm not? gonna work for Daddy Elon, and uh, there you go. Maybe he'll give me some Ambien. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we sell we sell products to Tesla, and it is notoriously a train wreck. Yeah. Everything about it. People don't know what kind of alloys they want. They don't know what aluminum is. They don't know what anything is. And all right, just send it something and we'll, a metal it out we'll build it into a car, whatever. <laughs> it's always a train wreck, always. Oh Every my god, trip. it's it's a, that's really funny to me, and I don't know why. <laughs> Tesla just can't figure it out because there's all young people that don't have experience, where old people that they just do these same seven steps. But if you don't know yeah. these same seven steps, you don't know this mag- magic incantation, yeah, it's. You know, that, that, raises, uh, that raises a good point uh, you said earlier. Elon Musk having to stay at home and going stir crazy. How many, how many divorces do you think are going to come? Dude, out of, that was out of the first thing that happened in Wuhan oh, after yeah. they let, like, uh, kind of like, you know, because uh, they were literally like welding people into their apartments. They were literally like oh, yeah. taking pieces of plywood and like fucking nailing doors shut and saying, like, you're staying oh, yeah. here. And the second they started relaxing those measures, the first thing that happened was like Chinese divorces just went through the fucking roof. Like, oh man! And I, I think that's honestly going to happen here. You know, I'm fucking, you know, divorces and babies. <laughs> that's you, you and Chris are going to get over there. Right? You know, things get a little testy over here these days. But I mean, other than that, you know, it's just like some may say. Some may say I drove 16 and a half hours to get away from Elizabeth, but I say I got here. Thank God, my parents. And it's it's, it's, it's not even just the fact that like it's just us together. Like I would get this way with literally um, fucking anybody if I was stuck in oh, the yeah. house. Like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, and yeah like, for sure. It, the same thing kind of happened when we first moved here, and neither of us had like we moved here a month before my official start date, and she had she didn't even have a job lined up when we moved here. So like we were just on top of each other the whole time we were here for the first month we were here, and I kind of got to that same point like, too. Typically? Yeah, so it, so it starts off physically, and then it gets to a point where it's just like, God damn it, just leave me the fuck alone. Like, you know, and, and it's just what happens. You know, that happens with... That's why it's hard, it's hard. And that's why I, I'm literally thankful for the fact that I'm out of college during this shit, because if this was happening when I was living with my college roommates, I'm sure I would have killed it by now. I'm sure. That's fair I, I would have killed Weston. I would have killed Weston and then hung him upside down like a hog and let him bleed in the backyard. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. Shout out to Weston. By yeah, the shout way. out to God. Shout yeah, out to God Weston. Weston. But Jesus Christ, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, dude, now you got your sauna. You can just go hide in the dude, sauna. Tomorrow, I'm counting down my hours. Dude, dude, tomorrow is sauna hour, and like, I, I think I'm gonna take my laptop in it and just sit in it all day long. I think that's what's gonna happen. That, that's probably not it's great for electronics. Like, no, nah, <laughs> it's not my laptop. It's my work. I don't give a shit. Oh man. Uh, yeah, dude. But shout out to God. Shout out to Weston. Shout out to Saunas. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Oh, I'm there. so fucking stoked, oh, dude. I can't fucking wait. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna make a whole YouTube video about it and then like put up a review for the sauna. Good. <laughs> Please do. We'd love to put it on the channel. Yeah, we'll put the sauna review on the channel. Absolutely. Fully nude, fully nude in your sauna. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just the my... brain doesn't have to be. <laughs> we'll, put one, we'll put one of those black bars on my cock, but we'll make it like three feet long. But it's like huge. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I'm out all about it. It's like a yardstick. I have it like coil on the floor. Here I am in my sauna. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> when, when you sit, you just make the, like an L shape at that point. Yeah. Just or just do like what they do with the seat. Seat. super long, but half the time it's not even covering anything. So you have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm fucking stoked, though, dude. And I've been, hmm. uh, I've been trying to get a, uh, another piece of exercise equipment with it. And, uh, dude, I'm telling you, man, like, not only Peloton, but every single piece of, like, work at home equipment. Like, you can't buy a treadmill right now to save your life. You can't buy any kind of, like, work from home exercise equipment. Like, there's just fucking nothing. Like, ah, man, I wish, I wish I could go back in time and buy stock in Logitech and, like, Nordic Trek treadmills. Because, oh, yeah, like, yeah. all of that shit is just exploding right now because all of this shit going on. Anything yeah. streaming related is, like, sold out right yeah, now. Even Cottonelle or something like that, or Charmin. Like, if you had, like, stock in those companies. Yeah, oh, my wrong. God. No. Yeah. It's all through the fucking roof right now. And, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Oh, shit. The dog's right there. Speaking on that same yeah. vein, uh, today, actually, I hit my my. Uh, new record on my personal portfolio on Robinhood. So, oh, yeah. yeah I, uh, <laughs> today, uh, the stock gods were very good to me. Mm. That's good. Very nice, very nice. So you're just going to sell everything then, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything's still under market value. <laughs> Nothing's bounced back quite oh, wow. entirely yet, but a lot of things announced that they were going back to uh, opening up their assembly plants today, A lot, like especially in the automotive industry. And... Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of stock in uh, like Ford and uh, Fiat Chrysler and stuff like that. So just saying that like, hey, we're going to bring back factory workers, like all of that shit kind of exploded today. So I bought like when all this shit started, I bought a lot of stock in Delta, Southwest, Ford and uh, Fiat Chrysler, like all the, the oil consumers and shit like transport and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. now that like shit's kind of like coming back, it's all kind of like coming back to so. Make it up. It's not negative. It's not negative fifty dollars a barrel of oil anymore. Yeah. Well, I think it might be. I don't, I don't know. Sure about oil. It's still very, very cheap. That's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy that you can buy a gallon of gas right now in Texas for seventy-eight cents. That's insane. That's Excuse kind of insane. Me? Yeah. That's that's ridiculous. It's crazy. Yeah, it's cost me nineteen. It, it took me three Phillips to get to Nebraska from where I live. And I think I spent nineteen dollars at each gas station. It only, it only took you to three Phillips to get across the country. Yeah, wow. that's pretty insane. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. How's it? Well, it's, a, it's a Honda CRV, so I mean, it's got a hefty only get gas like, tank. No, they only get like twenty miles per I, gallon, though, right? It's getting twenty-four miles per gallon the way I'm driving it, and it's got like an eighteen, nineteen gallon tank. Not bad. And it's it's around nine hundred miles that I drove to get here. Damn. So. Yeah, I very much enjoyed the drive. Like it was very outside of every single asshole semi truck. <laughs> I, I love this phenomenon of four semi trucks always getting in front of the other one. Yep, they're I always mean, racing. Only yeah. Twenty miles, and God forbid you wait for me to pass you before you merge into my lane, and then take thirty miles to get ahead of the person to your right. But no, <laughs> no, you have to do it. That happened fifth. 15 times on my way here. I Oh, my God. I was screaming in my car. I think they legitimately yeah, draft know, each other, and are. then they just, like, pass, and then they draft again, and they pass. Like, it's like NASCAR racing, basically. <laughs> my, my uncle used to. I might be able to get you him. He's, my, my dad he's a nice used to. character, too, actually. If I could get him on here, that'd be hilarious. That would be fucking... That'd be great. Yeah. We just let him tell everything. Oh, he he, uh, he he tells me like he he he's been wanting to tell these stories at the holidays since like I was a kid. But my dad always like poo pooed like his trucker uh, life. Uh, yeah, like don't tell him about the drugs and stuff like that. Like, he's like so like legitimately I, he he's been wanting to tell these stories for like years. So I could totally get him to just sit, get on here and talk I about it. Yeah, but just he, hey, David, come on over here to my lap. Let me tell you what a lot lizard is. <laughs> She'll do a lot. She'll do a lot. She'll do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's a from Missouri, I'll tell too. You, so if I a fuel, that's what you'd spend on a fuel with diesel. Uh, that lot lizards. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. They'll get you there. They'll get you there. Tommy, oh, it, only, it was only 900 miles to get to Nebraska? Yeah. Huh. 
That's crazy. Huh. Well, it's, it's only, mostly, I mean, it's just interstate. Like, it's not like it's, you know. It's only like 2,400 right, across the coast, story. right? Story. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Next story? <laughs> what is the next, next story? story? What's the next topic? Next what, are we, what are we talking about? Next article. <laughs> next news story. Okay. Um, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one with the list. Uh, you, women? <laughs> we should talk about women? I haven't. Uh, I feel like this is already going to go back. Uh, oh, no. Well, we already talked about LinkedIn being the worst place in the world. Um, That's fair. Should we talk about Takashi 6 9 yes. All right, Ryan. Let's talk. Uh, Ryan, I, I know you're itching to talk about Takashi, so let's go ahead and take it away. And this is the point of the podcast where I go take a pee. So I'll- oh, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a pee break here. I'm going to get another beer and then uh, – yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well, I guess I'll do All right. Whatever. <laughs> All right. This is the part where I'm going to say what I'm really thinking. You know what I'm really thinking? I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm saying. I'm sick of this crap. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? I'm sick of this crap. You can do it, aren't you? You can do it. I didn't even say, ah! 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 And we say no, liberals! Ah! And we're back. Takashi 6 9 with Ryan. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So for those of you that don't know what Takashi 6 9 is, you don't know who he is, he's a, he's a pretty famous rapper right now. Um, I'd say one of the biggest in the game just because he's really gained the system from like the very beginning of his career, even to now, even through jail, he was still gaming the system by being a massive troll uh, all the time, just being a huge dick bag towards everyone because he knew was, he would get a reaction out of people. So Takashi Six Nine uh, started out as a uh, a famous like uh, streetwear dude. Like he was a he he was sort of like in the fashion before he was a rapper. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but there's a famous picture of him wearing this streetwear and it's a pussy boy all over it, all over it. And this is before he had the rainbow hair, uh, all the tattoos and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like he's he's just a Latino guy. Like you would, know, you would look at that guy, like you could look at 6 9 right now and have no idea what that is. Like I, I, I had no idea what he was. Like cause the first time I saw him, he was what he is now with the colored hair and stuff. But he became super famous on the internet for trolling people, and he started rapping. And the way he got big was by like uh, calling on other rappers. And the other rappers would be like, "Yeah, yo, fuck you, dude." And then obviously, when people are talking about you, you get that clout. Any publicity is good publicity. Is it, publicity is good. Isn't he publicity. Puerto and Rican? He, he what is he Puerto Rican? He's Puerto Rican. I don't know. I really don't I'm know. I'm pretty sure he's uh, Puerto Rican. Yeah, okay, Puerto Rican. You see something. All right, let's, um, just, let's just go with Hispanic just to, just to yes. cover our asses here. Yes, Hispanic. Um, and he's part of Blood Nation. Well, here's the thing. So when, obviously, when you're a huge troll, uh, people are going to get mad at you, especially when you start talking with some, some like, real rappers and stuff. Like, right. Like, sure, they're, like, rich and stuff, but some of these guys you talk with are, like, fresh off the streets. Like they, they still remember when they were trapping on the, the corner and they were working with like the Bloods and the Crips and they would hire someone to kill you or they would kill you themselves. Right. So, so six nine obviously realized, realized, oh shit, I need some backup because these people are actually trying to kill me. So he goes and he, and he hires a bunch of Bloods to be like his posse, his bodyguards. <laughs> like real, real Bloods, right? And they start a Treyway, which is their, their game. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and being the fuckhead that Six Nine was, he, he eventually <laughs> like burned his bridges. But again, uh, don't take this as like gospel because I'm just giving you what I like what I've heard. 
Um, so I'm sure I'm wrong about a lot of these things, but I'm getting used to the general gist of what his career has been like. Um, we hired these four dudes, and uh, they formed Treyway, which was their gang. And yeah. uh, eventually they had a falling out because they realized, like, fuck this guy. Uh, and, yeah, and they actually sued him. Uh, instead of killing him, they <laughs> sued by his own game. Wait, he got oh, or sued God. by Treyway? Yeah, well, Trey, yeah. He can't say Treyway in the songs anymore. Wow. Like, that's not, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, he can't knock his album before he got in jail. They actually, I, I feel like that's some like new age bullshit with the gang scene. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. they probably should have just killed him. Yeah, like, you know, like his thing is the first time. I was like, it's fucking Treyway. Um, but he's like, he, he, like, he started out with like, it's fucking. He's like, oh shit, I can't say that. He's like, what are the two words that I say? Uh, and so he goes on a whole shift about how he's like, it's fucking trash can before each one of his songs. Um, cool. But eventually, so uh, some real shit goes down because he's probably saving himself in the place. You know, they're not the friendliest of people. And he was involved in a, a shooting. So obviously he gets arrested and stuff uh, for, for, for murdering someone. <laughs> and uh, he does, obviously he's, he's really not as hard as he portrays himself to be. And he doesn't want to spend time in jail. So, of course, what does he do? He snitches on everyone. Yeah. Uh, all, all <laughs> Which months, was like a months. worldwide meme for months. Right? Yeah. Yes. Months. Now, now, yes, he's the snitch. He's, he's the snitch. Yeah, I seriously thought and he was going to, like, snitch his way out of jail time and then just walk. And, and exactly. And then just, like, the second he walked out, he was just going to get blasted. Like, the second. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, hey, I going to get Epstein. The story is not right, right. I'm sorry. Continue. Uh, so, he... Uh, so he snitches on a lot of people, right? It's a really big reduced sentence. And uh, he, I think he still had another eight months or something left on a sentence, but he got out early because of the coronavirus. He didn't want to be in jail. What happened, yeah. So coronavirus actually saved him. Uh, he was granted an early release. So he gets out, right? And obviously he pissed off a lot of people, a lot of people that you don't want to fuck with. Yeah. And, uh, so he's put into witness protection. Which right? hold on, hold on. By the by the way, it's pretty fucked up that Takashi Six Nine got out because of COVID and Bobby Shmurda did not. Absolutely. Not. It's pretty fucked up that Takashi Six Nine got out because of COVID and Bobby Shmurda did not. I'm just gonna say that now. Yeah, Bobby Shmurda still. Free my, I, I just free my boy Bobby. But Bobby didn't snitch on. Yeah, exactly. Him. Exactly. <laughs> Bobby's OG and he's still in jail. Takashi Six Nine is a bitch, and he's not in jail. But isn't that how it works, though? That if you're a bitch, you get out. Well, <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, all I'm saying time, is, right? if Bobby Shmurda comes out of jail and kills Takashi Six Nine, and then raps about it, that'll be my favorite song of all time. Bobby, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he had a, he had him on. I know. I just want to interject for two seconds. And say thank you, Caleb, for muting Discord, but not muting Zencaster as you were slurping back <laughs> stereo. <laughs> so there's just 20 minutes of audio that I don't have to edit of Caleb just slurping down stereo. Oh, no. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> so thank you, Caleb. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, Thanks, Kanye. Very cool. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Takashi gets out of jail, and obviously he's not. They, they probably tell him, "Don't say anything, don't get on." I'm doing that because he will die. And and he did that. He did. He stayed quiet for about two weeks. Uh, and he, so he's like, he's in witness protection, right? And nobody knows where he lives. But there's some girl that gets on Twitter, right? And she posts a video of her sitting on her back porch, saying, "Oh my God, I can't fucking believe this." That's six nine. He's my neighbor, and she shows a video of him. They're looking at him. He's just chilling on the porch. You know, skittle hair, everything. Oh uh, my god! You know, you see all his cars. He has a, a bunch of cars, and they're all different colors, like the rainbow and stuff. And obviously, it's actually six nine. Just so, not be the least subtle person ever while undercover. It doesn't work. It does yeah. not work. So the, the federal agents obviously are just like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and I think at this point, he's just like, Takashi's like, fuck it, they already know where I live. And so he gets on Instagram, first thing he does, he starts screaming at different rappers and telling them what the fuck he's just stuff. Jesus Christ. 
Snoop Dogg, he called it Snoop Dogg, called him a pussy ass bitch. And Snoop Dogg went on Instagram and, and sort of reported and it's the cringiest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, like, you don't fuck with Dog, man. <laughs> oh my God. Your rainbow colored hair. <laughs> you don't fuck with Dog. The Dog will bite back at you. He'll bite at you. Oh God, Snoop's just a yeah. boomer now. Right. Exactly, yeah. Fifty-year-old <laughs> man, so it came off as really cringy, actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that happened, and then so all right, so they relocated him to another house. Mm. Funny enough, another chick goes and like, "Oh my God, my next door neighbor." He's in this giant mansion, and and we already know what his cars look like at this point. We know the rainbow. The, the, all the cars that he has, and she's just walking by and is videotaping inside this house <laughs> where she can see the gaze and see all the cars and stuff. So this dumbass is not doing anything to, to try to hide himself. So honestly, I mean, I think he's gonna die here. Yeah, too. I really do. Like, he, probably. Like, can you imagine being a federal agent so like, just to talk to for the love of God? Just fucking put the cars in the garage, sell or dye your hair a different color. Shave you your head, throw it back you out. Know, any favors? Yeah, put your cars in storage. Or a yeah, rent, it's even get to keep the cars. Car it's it. so crazy, man. Because that's like snitching is like completely against like the rap code that has been in place for decades yeah. now, and it, like, oh, it yeah. really just feels like like him doing that has just been like like I'm surprised he's not dead. Like that's what like I yeah, really right. thought he was gonna come out of this. Like his whole meme has been like he's been the snitching motherfucker. And I really thought they were going to be like, well, they were going to shake his hand and be like, thanks, Takashi, you really you really put all those bad boys away. And he was going to be like, ah, let's get shit lit. Like, you know, do whatever he does. And then he was going to... I'll be honest with you. I'm sorry. I'll be honest with you. I feel like that culture has worked for them because the FBI and the CIA and, like, any police don't give a shit what happens to black people. Yeah. So, like, literally, they're like, oh, you killed him, whatever. He's, he's dead. We're not gonna, we couldn't figure out who did it. Yeah. Like, But, like, when it's, when they've been tasked with protecting someone, that, like, they're gonna let they're not going to let that slide. You know, like... I mean, you, know, like you can say that about Epstein, too, Ocelot. You could, oh, but shit. he was should a we, Should we talk about that? <laughs> I don't think he's dead, so, dude. I think he's on his island. Oh, you think so? so? <laughs> one, one, am I the only person that's confused at how to pronounce his name? Takashi Six Nine. Takashi Six Nine. No, no, six. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, but that's it's not six. Six I X uh, the nine I N E. So yeah, just take the six. I-N-E. Yeah. That's not. It literally is like something I like. It, it, his name reminds me of something when I was in middle school and I was drawing Superman logos. Yeah. It reminds me of somehow I would have doodled that name out and be yeah. like, ah, this, is a shit, this username's already taken on Xbox Live. <laughs> Let me go to the next. I'm one. pretty sure you guys it, remember the person that thinks it's a little bit cringy. Do you guys remember the, the CS Pro uh, Zipnix? I used to play on uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's all I can think about when I see six nine is that like he's like some like European like <laughs> badass onliner that's like fucking. It's just right. like, I, I, it's, you just send you like a five paragraph message about your mom after he kills right. people. Call it yeah, exactly. I'm pretty. I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's our age. He apparently pissed off Acon and they're having a rap battle tonight on Instagram. Oh so. my god, <laughs> Acon. Acon, 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 Acon. Acon. Akon hasn't Acon. been relevant in like 20 years. Yeah, I, that's why I bet. I bet that's why Akon bit. He's like, this is my chance. Right. That's fair. That's fair. Akon hasn't been relevant since half the people on this podcast were born. Jeez. He's like so <laughs> early that he was like a joke on a Lonely Island song. It's so bad. It's, oh it's my like, God. Oh wow. my God. So yeah, that's it. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll follow the story. Oh, and, you know, and you dropped a single too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually it's not it's, bad. The single? Um, uh, I don't know. It's a six nine. Well, song. when you say not bad, do you mean not bad for a rap song or not bad for six nine screaming in your ear for three minutes to a it's, beat? It's a it's a six nine song. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Uh, like, I'm not I, saying it's, I, it's I like, like the music video, video. <laughs> and it's also up to like four hundred million views. So yeah, it, he broke a million views in like less than five minutes. I think it was a record for most. Jesus of the, Yeah, Dead Man Walking <laughs> releases the music video. Who's not going to watch that? Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I seriously thought maybe, I thought he was gonna like 
They were going to put an ankle bracelet on him at the police station and they'd be like, bye, Takashi. And he was going to be like, bye, police. And then, like, as he was walking to the car, like 30 people, like, just see who, and then just Drive blast him. Like, I, I, did, I did not see that lasting. I, didn't, I don't see him lasting 230. I see him getting blasted here pretty soon. And I mean, from what you just said, I didn't know any of that. It sounds like he's being a fucking idiot about it. And it sounds like he's definitely going to get blasted. So. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe nothing will happen. Right. I don't think anyone blasts anyone maybe, like that maybe. anymore. You don't think anybody blasts anybody like that? Extension just got blasted like a year ago. Yeah, I mean, no, uh, that's true. I, yeah, I, I thought if I know, didn't he like, overdose? I thought he overdosed. Wait, did. God, you're oh, just saying oh, random names. Always were made I thought, up. I thought Extination got uh, was overdose. I thought that was the no, only Juice World Juice World oh, yeah. Extension. God. God Wait, is it, ex- <laughs> too many is it Extension or am I an old man? <laughs> what? That's what the little name said. Tri- the Triple Extination guy? Well, I've always called it, him Extension. Just call him Triple X. Just call him Triple X. because then I'm thinking about a Vin Diesel. I'm such a boomer. We're not talking. <laughs> I don't know any of this young kid oh, rap. All I know is Little Gravy. Shout out to Little Gravy. <laughs> young young, young <laughs> Gravy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna oh, shout there goes Young Pete. Gravy coming on for an Little interview. Pete. Yeah, dogs. We're out, yeah, just We're out now. That Very cool. Jesus. I'm on the gravy train. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He's back on, boys. I've been, I've been, off, listen, I've been listening to Young Gravy all day. I've also had... I think six drinks. So, Young Gravy, Little Gravy. Maybe I should be a Little Gravy and he could be Young Gravy and we could collab on shit. You know? yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think that was going to do it for this uh, for episode five of the Captain's Quarters. Um, Kayla, do you have anything to plug? Uh, negative. Never do. All right, David. <laughs> no, um, I might be I might be streaming on on Twitch soon. Uh, as soon as that green screen comes in, was when I was planning on doing it, which should have been last week, but no, obviously no. But so I might be streaming on Twitch sometime soon. Twitch.tv slash tf ocelot is my channel, and that's about it. So yeah, hell yeah, Hunter. Um, you know the usual. Follow me on LinkedIn, even though I just said it's the most toxic, <laughs> <laughs> disgusting piece of shit on the internet. Um, Oh my god! Make sure to check out Berkshire CBD. We're gonna have a link for you guys here soon. And uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm actually gonna put together a YouTube video of me reviewing the sauna tomorrow. So I wish I'll uh, I'll do that and uh, I'll figure out how to. uh, I don't know anything about video editing, so I think I need to go down that road and uh, see what happens. It's good time to figure it out. If you send me if you 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 send me the footage, I can work my magic. I don't know. (laughs) Fully nude. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you a full new video of me and my sauna, and you can you can do what you need to do. Well, he's screaming, Carissa, just keep recording, man. <laughs> Don't put the camera. Hold down. the camera vertical. <laughs> Wait, Caleb, what were you saying about Berkshire? Uh, Berkshire CBD, wholly owned by Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire CBD, right here. Berkshire CBD. I don't. How did it get its name? I don't know. I feel like Berkshire is like a taken name now. Um, like the Berkshires is like a place in New York. Isn't that, but is that Warren Buffett's yeah, insurance Jesus. company? Yeah, Berkshire Hathaway. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any affiliation between Warren Buffett and the CBD company. You think Warren Buffett, that's his secret? <laughs> no. Yeah. But Warren Buffett hates all recreational drugs. Oh, well. The man is like a fucking fossil, dude. That's why he, do, he doesn't want anyone else on his level. Yeah. He's been, he's been smoking yeah. CBD he's since the 60s off. and he doesn't want us anywhere near it. <laughs> right. so, he's been since 62, so you just have to watch out for Buffett. All right, Ryan, how about yourself? Uh, just switch. Just got a feeling, like I said earlier. So fun for out. We're doing fun things there. <laughs> we've got TV such Crash Carl with two H's and seven Q's. <laughs> seven Q's. Um, and then you can check me out. I stream every single day. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Captain Milne. Uh, make sure to check out the YouTube channel. Uh, both so you can watch this podcast and check out other uh, playthroughs. If you want to see us, uh, if you're listening to audio only and you want to see us live in person, check out the YouTube channel. Right, yeah. If you're on Spotify or Apple Music or any other place that you uh, listen to your podcast, uh, check us out at The Brig on YouTube and you're going to be able to watch us 
see our ugly mugs. Are. So you can watch Kale and shovel cereal in his mouth for 10 minutes during this podcast. I was hungry, yeah. okay? Watch Hunter's cam slowly degrade into just a clump of four pixels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that me? You have like 16 collective pixels for your yeah, you're, you're, you're Me? Yeah, as the, as the sun has yeah, gone yeah. down, like your, your camera's just got to shit the bed. It's, it's, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're, I, I, it's all all right guys. <laughs> Whatever. We'll catch you guys fucking next time. Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, everyone. Really big shout out to our Patreon supporters: KLSK1, Garrison Coley, True X23, Ziggy Storm, Senpai Gray, and Lieutenant Dan. Appreciate your support. We couldn't do this without you guys. Mm-hmm.